Hey, Vampire Logan here. Uh, we are doing a um, new game. Oh, and it's called Tales from the Play Night. No, ignore everything on the UI right now. Um, we are just uh, getting that adjusted, but we're starting a new campaign. Uh, it's called Shattered. Uh, it's uh, being DM'd by Jesse here. And uh, we're just doing character creation and some backstory. So I will just um, pass it to Jesse to do a little intro, and then uh, we can just proceed. We started already kind of off stream, but we'll just jump in now. So go ahead, Jess. Yeah. Welcome to... Whoa, hello. <laughs> there we are. Welcome to the world of Shattered. Um, Shattered takes place on an island uh, that is off the west coast of pretty much any continent you would care to put it against. Could be Forgotten Realms, could be your homebrew game, whatever. Um, this is the Fortunate Isle here. Um, the the play the players will begin the game in the town of Comet Fall, which is on the south shore of the island, um, which is a human walled town uh, to the east, northeast, I suppose, is Chaden, which is the capital of this island, uh, where the King and queen who live on the on the mainland have sent their son to kind of be the caretaker of this island. And then the uh, small outpost of Westhold on the west corner of the map, mostly military and uh, support uh, support for the military. There's not a lot of people who would choose to live there. It's cold and damp and there's not much to do. Um, but we will begin our game with the players in Comet Fall, and I will bring up the map of Comet Fall next. I got the UI for what you were talking about now. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And so, yes, this is uh, this is the town of Comet Fall. Uh, interesting name this town has, and it is named thus because. A comet broke apart in the sky about 75 years ago, and a part of that comet fell to Earth um, fairly close to this town. Uh, and the town was renamed Comet. Uh, the, the town was not he actually here when the comet fell 75 years ago, but since that time, it's been established. Um, and there's a a uh, set of mines out there where they mine the matter, comet matter from this from this event, and they they dig it out of the ground and they transport it to the mainland. Um, and that's where the the town got its name and kind of how the whole island got its name. They call it the Fortunate Isle for for the money that this this brings in. Um, and as we build characters, there's a couple things that I'd like to keep in mind. This is a this is a human a town. Um, it's a very welcoming town to any ancestry that you should choose to uh, follow, but uh, but most of the citizens here are human. Um, and you guys have all decided before today that you are about to embark on your adventuring career together. So we can talk about why that happened but not if that happened. Mm -hmm. So you guys know each other already, um, and you are about to embark on some adventuring. Also, this town is, uh, has, is home to a number of adventurers that have you know, gotten, to, have gotten a few levels up, if you will, and have retired. Um, and these adventurers are... A rogue, a paladin, a cleric, a fighter, a wizard, and a druid. And uh, I'll go into details about them soon. But each of you should pick one of them as a family member or a friend or a patron. Um, not, no two of you can pick the same person. Um, but, you know, these are just somebody that kind of connect you to the town uh, and to, to the adventure that we're about to embark on. Sorry, um, just... rogue, a paladin, a fighter, a cleric, and a wizard? And a druid. And a druid. Okay, six. Good. One more um, than there I are. Just, I just want to say that uh, this reminds me a lot of the 
uh, city, the town, whatever, in the Yucatan, where the comet that killed the dinosaurs landed. Mm. They have a whole tourist industry about it. Only this one brought money instead of genocide, so that's (laughs) that's a much better trade. Well, it didn't didn't matter to us. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, Tusker Golden Boots is a rogue (laughs) He uh, Tusker is a salty rogue who has taken to a life on the waves. He owns a ship tied up at the docks in town called the Golden Boot. He doesn't take it fishing during the day and can usually be found on board. Sir Marden is the paladin. Sir Marden is a mounted knight who fights on horseback. He leads the soldiers in the capital of Chaden. With soldiers, he patrols the forests and roads of the Fortunate Isle near his home, making sure the surrounding peoples are safe. When he's not patrolling, he can be found either in his home in Chaden or at the barracks there, where his soldiers train and sleep. Pretio Mender is the cleric. He is a disciple of Silat, which I should explain in a moment. He works in the temple of Silat as a healer for those that come in needing help. The high priest of the temple, uh, Riffin the Pious, respects him as a healer, but does not respect his choice to go adventuring when his services were needed at home. With this tension, Fredio fears he may not advance highly in the temple. Bretham Smith is a fighter. Bretham the Smith made her name swinging her sword. Now she's settled down comfortably and makes swords for others. She has a forge attached to the armory in town. Besides selling steel and making repairs for adventurers, she is also responsible for arming the guards and soldiers of Cometfall. Umbard the wizard was recruited by Laforge, which is, runs this town, to be his advisor and to handle the mystic matters that might be required around town. He has access to a few magic items that can be deployed to aid the town, and many books on local and global affairs. And finally, Marissa the druid always loved horses. Her sympathy for these and other creatures is what got her into druid craft in the first place. When her adventuring days were over, she was appalled at the condition of the town's stable. Given the opportunity to improve conditions, she jumped at the chance. Horses and steeds in her care are well-fed and well-cared for. So those are the six adventures. So she's like the ultimate horse girl? Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) With, With, like, animal powers to go along with it, so she can literally speak to the horses. Somebody claiming that one. Oh my god, she sounds like a lot. Just speak with a forced <laughs> voice. I think I want to claim the rogue, if no one Tusker. else. Is. Yeah, he sounds name. piratey, so I'm thinking he's um, slightly piratey. We're going for a piratey guy. <clears throat> I think hey. I like the wizard. Umbard the wizard. Yes. Do we have uh, to pick like t- right away, or can it wait till we've done more character creation? Can totally, yeah. it can totally t- happen at any point. Although it, okay. it is kind of first come first serve, so uh, <laughs> there's a couple, couple claimed. I'm gonna go with Bretham Smith and the blacksmith. Bretham Smith, Bretham the Smith, depending on what you, uh, what you call her. Um, yes, straight up fighter, making swords. Swinging swords, now making swords. And none of these, Does... like, you don't have to be the same class as them. You can just nope. have them as nope, a not at all. friend, right? Does okay. Does Bretham have a last name? Smith. They call okay. her Bretham Smith because she's the Smith. <laughs> as people oh, I thought it was, like, her last name and then also because she was a Smith. So it was, like, Bretham, it, it, Bretham It's Smith, not coincidental. The they, they, they give her the last name. Smith as as the Smith, kind of like the how those names the medieval came about. times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cooper and stuff like that. Those mm-hmm. are all. I had a boss whose last name was Baker, and I don't remember him baking anything. An ancestor <laughs> of them probably was yeah. a baker, though. <laughs> yeah, all he is... did was bring weed to the store. <laughs> oh, there you go. He was baking. Uh, <laughs> he was that is a baker, baker. Uh, in modern parlance. Or maybe they were just really good at makeup. <laughs> So, um, so, so this is going to start... have the paladin, the cleric, and the... nobody took the druid yet, right? I think someone's leaning no. that way. 
I guess I'll take the druid. I think was Zoe. I mean, looking I'm at the druid? waiting. I no, I don't want the druid. I just thought it was oh. funny. She was a horse girl. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I want yet. It's gonna wait for character creation. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> So, now the other thing is, uh, like, this this is open to whatever ancestry and, and class you want. Obviously, we want to spread the classes around so that, um, you know, that we get a lot of specializations covered. Um, what do people want to play? I'm leaning towards, uh, are we first level in this? Yes. I'm leaning towards a, a, a rogue, possibly or a fighter um, in the kind of going towards some kind of swashbuckler build, um, but maybe fighter rogue. Hey, I'm going to go fighter fighter as well, but I'm going to just go brute strength fighter. Brute strength fighter. I was planning on more of a caster. Um, I normally play clerics, but maybe this time I'll try a bard. Oh, Oh, that, that brings me to an interesting point. I mentioned this during one of the um, backgrounds, in particular, Fredio Mender, the cleric. But um, I mentioned that Fredio was a disciple of Silat. Correct. Now, Silat is the name of the comet that passes overhead on this town. It, it passes on a an annual cycle. It, it comes overhead at the same day every year. And due to the fact that part of this comet broke off and, and brought this town its fortune, um, there's a celebration. And it's it, the, the name of the comet, Silat, has been deified. And the local people kind of worship this local deity of Silat. Um, and that. so uh, that, that, that is so available cool. to you. There's a temple in town pretty where all the divines, you know, no matter who... Uh, you should choose to worship are are welcome and 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 make their prayers and their offerings. But it is dressed in the in the garb of Silat, and there's pictures of comets and gems and stuff like that all over it. Um, cool. If anyone is, you know, headed towards anything divine, uh, a cleric or a paladin or anything like that, um, being a disciple of Silat is an option that's open to you. It's not like any more powerful than anything else. It's basically, a, you know, a life cleric from the player's handbook, um, healing and, you know, standard stuff like that. All right. But a bard is good too. <laughs> I just wanted to. I just wanted to fill in the backstory when I had the chance. Thank you. Does anyone else have any ideas for what they'd like to play? I have so many ideas. Too many. <laughs> I have too many ideas. Me too. At, at first level, it's like, uh, today was too so busy. Choices. I'm just going fighter. I have <laughs> like a giant choices. list. I have like a giant list of characters that I've sort of made and want to play eventually. And I'm just staring at it like, who is the best option? <laughs> Eeny meeny. Okay. So we I'll got, it easy. sounds like we got sword play covered. Yeah, so I was thinking caster. So we've got a bard and two yep. fighters so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably a bard. I've never played one before though, so I'm a little bards uncertain. Bards are fun as hell. I gotta say, bards are very fun. I have played a bard. They're they're the best. Yeah, I was playing one in my last campaign. <laughs> yeah, you kind of get uh, all the advantages of a wizard or sorcerer, and you get like a bunch of other a little bit of rogue. Them, yeah, but, some yeah. rogue and some fighting. <laughs> little rogue, little fighter, little wizard. Plus, you get to sing on the stream. And you get to sing. No. It yeah, depends on what kind of bard. Um, and you could, kind I, of I, bard. I played a bard who did spoken word poetry. So oh, it, like I had slam the concept poetry, of that. like on the spot. Oh, I, I yeah, did that I, for a while. It was great. I downloaded a tambourine app on my phone because that was my instrument. <laughs> and I would just go like, I see the sea. <laughs> I see the ground. <laughs> it was fantastic. It was so much fun. I had a concept of doing was, a beat poet kind of uh, thing. Yeah, so similar idea. I, yeah. yeah. I was talking to you about that one. You? Lightning. I, I had this idea a long sky, time ago. Kill this guy. Yeah. Waving my arms in the air. Oh, you were doing a, a William <laughs> Shatner beat poet. No, not William Shatner. I was doing uh, <laughs> Mike, That's what it Mike like. Myers. 
<laughs> Mike Myers beat poetry. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's where I got my concept was. I wave my hands in the air. Waving my like hands in the air for no care. reason. Like oh, I'm just you're definitely not care. a scald then. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. I think that one would need a lot of prep though. For like, uh, you gotta have a kind of a spell or each, uh, like a little some word for each spell. <laughs> that would be funny. I was gonna do like the um, the drum and the uh, bass line with it too. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> oh, like where you're just like, I feel seen. <laughs> like that. I think that's just comedy. But mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You're just a bar that's yeah, just yeah. like a stand-up yeah, comedian. I, I, that's another one too. You can do a stand-up yeah. comedian uh, so, bar. I was wondering, what's the deal with airline food? <laughs> right? What's the deal with this tavern food? Stand-up philosopher. <laughs> deal with orc barbarians. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sure we I know mean. you're violent. <laughs> We get Your it. Vicious mockery at play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Totally. I love vicious mockery. Mm -hmm. And um, bards can actually get vicious mockery, which is awesome. Yeah, that's the yeah. Logan. Awesome can thing. you create a character in the D and D Beyond just so we get to? Oh, Beyond. Um, did one? Yeah, I thought I had one. Yeah, I one got everybody's but but Logan's. Okay. So uh, I'm thinking either sorcerer, druid, or cleric is a good idea. Oops, I right, just switched. The Nobody who's hardcore second. wizard yet, so sorcerer could totally be yeah. that. Uh, there's also yeah. no healer, so uh, both good a, choices there. You could be a light domain cleric and get kind of both. You get the fireworks and healing. Or I don't want to do light. Uh, I don't want to do a light. And spirit guardians. Spirit guardians. Spirit, spirit guardians does slap. I have an it's arcana like... domain cleric that I'm interested in. My new favorite spell. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's not Meteor um, Swarm? No, so Spirit Guardians. Have... Spirit Guardians does slap really hard. I only it's a have great the spell. campaign for Tales from the Plague Knight. Is that the one to use? No, there's a link it, in the... It's a in link. The... Oh, it's oh, like yeah. right there. Discord. I see. Oh, ow, I pinched my thing. There we go. Join. So we got... Rogue Fighter, Fighter, Bard... Hmm. So would the rogue also be a, okay, there a we go. distance and support fighter? What's our um we're using point by right? Yeah, he's looking to be a swashbuckler. Yep. Oh, so you're gonna be in you're up close and personal. Uh yeah, yeah I'm gonna be a, a sword fighting um but also like range stuff too, so like pist I don't can you have pistols in this world world? Don't believe there's any that are kind of canon. No. Okay, hand crossbow then. Swashbuckler Rogue is one of my like all time favorite classes. They're so fun. <laughs> yeah, so fun. We have five characters in D and D Beyond. Excellent. Okay, and um, sure, I'm about so... to make Lindsay <laughs> cringe. Is there but... any uh, homebrew <laughs> content cringe. or optional class features or customizing origins? Yeah, so I shared a bunch of content with the game content management here. Okay, homebrew. Um, and it's basically DMG Monster Manual Player's Handbook, Xanthar's Tasha's, and XP or milestones. Um, XP. Okay. And uh, hit point type manual. Fixed. Oh, fixed. You get the fixed value when you level up. Increase your hit points. By it the just fixed saves. Value. It's it saves the roll and it saves like. I right, like okay. that the characters basically stay in lockstep, and somebody okay. doesn't get something that sucks, and somebody they get something that rocks. Everyone's kind of on equal footing. And encumbrance, probably no encumbrance. Uh. Or you don't care. I'm. So, you know, do I usually leave the rule on, but I don't, I'm not going to ask you about it. Just like play well with it. Yeah. Next page. 
and races you prefer human but the no uh, and here. so you guys can play whatever you want uh this is a human okay. centric area but you can play any race you want and you're not going to experience any persecution for your choices um but uh, whatever DMG you want to do or um player's handbook ones right no other no go ahead and take the other ones so like volo's guide and stuff uh, I, I actually I took Volos off and left uh, most of the multiverse on, mm, okay. which should cover all the Volos Goliath. stuff. Really, most of uh, most of the multiverse includes Haragon. <laughs> which the, one is that? The rabbit one. The bunny. Right. Yeah, I don't care about that. The one thing I would probably like, I want to review anything that comes out of that book, just because. Mm -hmm. In particular, things like like if there's anything there with constant flight, Thank like you, I haven't yeah. gone through this scenario with an eye for what that could break. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So I might I might think about that. But if if uh, absolutely take anything from the player's handbook, and if you're taking anything else, probably it's fine, and I'll I'll just take a look at it. But constant flight is something that maybe you guys want to not think about. <laughs> Yeah, if I mean, if it didn't come up, that'd make my job easier. Exactly. I don't think there's a lot of things with oh. constant flight, though. I'm looking um, at things from the sea, so let me see. You know. So, Bretham is human? Yes. All right. I am human. Breath of my ma. Mm, that works. <laughs> she wanted me to be a blacksmith. It just ain't gonna work. I don't got that eye for detail. I'm really good at just breaking everything that she tries to make. <laughs> she's well, she's with... fine for you to go out and be an adventurer. She was an adventurer before you. She actually thinks that was a good idea. She's <laughs> like, you know, you don't have to tend the shop. Why don't you just go? The, sh the shop will be here when you get back. Exactly. Maybe you'll learn a thing or two. So, <laughs> so that's me. Hem. My name's Hem. You gotta go get no, your sword wet. It's about Hep. Yeah, my name's Hep. Now, I yep. might be able to talk <laughs> to the Ma to about getting us... Right? <laughs> Hep Smith. Name's there you go. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I got three or four times from trying to make things. So, I don't know. <laughs> Is that your full name? No, <laughs> All right, hypothesis. So... <laughs> hypothesis. <laughs> we just call him Hep. Hypothesis. So it would make it easier for you Way if I were to simpler. go for a a <laughs> celestial warlock. Ooh, okay. A uh, celestial warlock. That would be fine. And it'd be a celestial warlock of the comet people, or something like that. <laughs> but... Okay, so healer. Mm -hmm. The comet people. Yeah, so basically a healer, but you know, support fireworks as well. Love fireworks. Yeah, okay. Fireworks are pretty. All right, I'll just go that route. Some blasts of Eldritch coming our way. Oh, of course. <laughs> Love us some blasts of Eldritch. Love that. All right, so let me click here. Okay, so, wait, so we've. Real quick, we've got fighter, rogue slash fighter, celestial warlock, bard, bard? possibly. Correct. I think I'm going to go with it. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Why am I having so much trouble deciding? <laughs> take the one on the left. Always it's not like this left. next six months of gaming depends on your decision here tonight. <laughs> No no so many characters. So I, like. <laughs> I just have so many characters that I like. I did two weeks to prepare. I think I'll name mine Chad Simpleton. <laughs> Chad? There we have go. hepatitis oh, and Chad. <laughs> the Chad. <laughs> the Chad. Uh, I, I'll, I'll look for a name. Hold on a second. I'm just going to... Chattanooga. It's Chattanooga and Hepatitis. Chattanooga. Okay. You're laughing, but I literally have a character build named Spencer. 
the build is named Spencer? No, well, his name is Spencer, um, and his whole thing is that he's a frat bro. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it. His, uh, his, he's got, a he's got proficiency in a gaming set, and it's beer pong. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm digging Lovely. it. His background is basically the soldier that I just, like, reskinned into being a frat bro. <laughs> Is Hamilton remaining a, a half orc ranger? I guess not. Hamilton will probably be yeah. a Plan B character in case of I, my primary my Plan A character croaks. Mm. King Hamilton. Well, I'll I'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna unassign him. I don't know Sounds why good. the name Hamilton cracks me the fuck up every time it gets said, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like losing it. Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton. <laughs> I know way too many of those lyrics. I was way too much. I was way That's too. That's about the extent of my I, knowledge. I mean, I've I seen it. I was way too but... sixteen. I was way too much of a sixteen-year-old when that came out. <laughs> See, the difference here is that my also a theater professor, kid. Yes, my college professor got me into it. They made us sing it on on stage. Wow. With like one of those weed out classes. 200 people are like, who wants to go on stage and sing Hamilton? And I was like, I don't even know what this <laughs> is. Wow, and that was math class. It was actually AP, like an, a version of biology. It was great. Really? <laughs> it was biology. <laughs> an insane thing to ask people to do in a biology class. They were like, yeah. you want extra credit if you rap Hamilton to 200 people? And I'm like, please. No. Wow, I'm glad really... I never took a science class in college. <laughs> Maybe it was just her. It was fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. She had those lyric videos up. <laughs> had the tallest dude play Hamilton. Still... Backup Listen, singer. I'm, I'm really, I'm really white, so Hamilton is like the closest to rapping I can get. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, like oh, extra no. white. So Jess, my options are um, the for race I'm I'm thinking of is either C Elf, uh, Water Genesi, uh, Gith. Gith Yankee or Gith Zerai, or uh, um, uh, Shadar Kai, which is a shadow elf. Hmm. Any of those? I, I played I mean, a... the, 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 Some of those are pretty out there, but I don't think, I can't think of any reason why none of them wouldn't work. I played a sea elf who is a swashbuckler rogue. Um, his name was Tri Captain Christopher Sea Shanty. It's <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> Another person in that campaign made like this. We it was we were playing like thieves, and she, this other player in the campaign made a, uh, like really mean warlock, uh, genie warlock uh, character who was like kind of a terrible person and I was immediately like oh no Christopher is a simp now and just did anything you could to impress her <laughs> no oh or a tabaxi tabaxis are always I think, awesome I think a tabaxi um, uh, swashbuckler would be hilarious because he wouldn't want it to would be away. awesome <laughs> there you and go you, 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 yeah I think I, I'll go for here's, that you ready for a name for a tabaxi uh, swashbuckler, <laughs> Captain <ahead>. Catapult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. I've taken it. It's it's Love sea cat, it. but like a sea dog, but it's sea cat. Yeah, yeah. Um, the catapult. Actually, actually, your name should be Captain Sea Dog, and everyone's like dog, and you're like, yeah, what about of it? <laughs> yeah, problem with that. What about it? Problem with that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, about, what about it, asshole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Sorry, you got a problem with milk? <laughs> That's how every um, fight starts. The one thing you might be concerned about, Jess, though, is the feline agility. It allows you to have mm -hmm. a burst of speed to um, double your speed until the end of the turn, and then you. How often? Once, once a day. You can use it. No, you can use it. You can't use it again until you move zero feet in one of your turns. So yeah, it's kind of which makes awesome, it awesome then. for monks. Yeah, right. yeah, I can use it a lot. Not great for swash. Okay, good to though. know. But one I'll, of their I'll... main thing is kind of moving back and forth. 
Yeah. Uh, good to know, but I'll, I'll take that. I could. Yep. Go ahead. It's good for a for a swashbuckler who wants to get around. Yep. Okay, yeah. I will do it. I'm, I'm sure that'll take me by soon. surprise at least twice. <laughs> yeah. I'm and sorry, you just did again. what? <laughs> you're you're uh, uh, stuck in a mire, or someone is what do you mean he's 65 feet away, or someone's grappling you. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the, pr- the 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 enemy is escaping, and you're like, ha no, they aren't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no wait, like... they're supposed to escape in this part. <laughs> I know no, you can choose your size, be. medium or small. That's funny. Be a little kitty. That's a that became yeah, really that common in the last book, actually. Yeah. Vision. When I get perception and stealth right off the bat, that's cool. It's gonna take those anyway. Okay, right, so I've got a tiefling character, a goblin character. <laughs> I love goblins, like hardcore obsessed with them. Love it. A human and a genasi. Oh, genasis are fun too. Considered goblin as well, but goblin rogue, that's kind of neat. Bit on goblins. the nose. Yeah. yeah. Goblins Too much. goblins are my go- goblins and rogues are like my favorite thing in the world. So I'm just like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I just watched a stream of somebody um like just a uh, just a talking stream, not an actual play stream. But they were talking about how goblins in their world are basically Jawas. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think that <laughs> That totally works. <laughs> I'm on a lifelong journey to make everyone realize goblins are more than just evil. <laughs> Ranger. I need you to meet my uh, goblin druid. <laughs> I, Carl, do you want to hit the button to create another character on the um I'm doing that right campaign? now. Okay, cool. I'm not joking. One of the builds that I'm looking at is a goblin druid. <laughs> I like that, actually. That sounds cool. Right? Yeah, that's totally. Yeah, I've got a human sorcerer, a goblin druid, a genasi cleric, and a tiefling cleric. Actually, Carl, Carl has one of those uh, goblin druids. I'm sure we... Didn't you yeah, just have just one for one that. of the other campaigns? Yeah, yeah Binkle yeah, Roy Randolph... That. Yeah, that's it. What yeah. on earth is that name? Binkle Roy. <laughs> Perfect. Randolph Rosebloom the third. Which is why I make fun oh, of wow. him. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is that's the name. That's the he name. Is. He is the adoptive son of a of a of a dwarf druid named the third because you know goblins do really stupid things and as they get die, the dwarf would just adopt another one and just add another number to his name. <laughs> So he's number three. That's like dark. Didn't you, didn't you use that guy in one of the games? Yeah. No, we didn't. Get... Oh, we didn't. He's, didn't a, drink. he's a milk drinker. Mm. Mm. Oh, he was a milk drinker. Oh, right. yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. I wasn't there for. I wasn't there for that one. That's why I don't <laughs> no. know what you're talking about. Okay. Walks into a bar and orders milk. <laughs> so, me, honestly. Yeah. Me and me and he's just like me in real life for real. They did have a problem with that, and then they fought over it and burned him almost to death. And then he didn't have a problem. Exactly. With it. And, and then he friends. didn't have a problem. They're friends. The round of just milk like for the bar. Exactly. Yes, That's what I should have done. <laughs> I should have ordered everybody a round of milk before I started threatening him. <laughs> milk. It does a body good. I don't know why, but the mention of milk just reminded me I have a pill I have to take. Oh. <laughs> Completely unrelated, but I was like, yeah, I can take medication. Yeah. With a pill, with uh, milk. Yeah. Oh, no, I, it was because I can't, I can't drink while I'm taking these. So the idea of going to a bar ordering milk, I was like, yeah, I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a good I would anyway, that. though. I like milk. Yeah, maybe in creme brulee. Can't really think of well. There's a few. Oh, wow! The uh, actual swashbuckler class, or um, I don't know, uh, subclass, sub sub thing of rogue is actually pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Fancy footwork. It's fucking awesome. Rack, rackish audacity. I, I fucking oh, yeah. love yeah. swashbuckler rogues. It's awesome. That is part of the build of my most OP character right now. 
So I might want to get to that as fast as possible. So maybe I'll start with... Although hit points are going to be lower. What does Fighter have that fits? And I'm tossing back and forth between going with Variant Human or Half-Elf. Mm. Sorry, what's the difference between human characters. and variant human? Variant human get a gets a feat and two stats improved by one. Regular human gets all stats improved by one, no feat. If you go with half elf, he gets charisma increased by two. And depending on what variant of half elf, you get other toys to play with. Hmm. Variant human is the one class that gets you a feat at level one, though. It's uh, yeah. it can be pretty, pretty it's awesome pretty depending on what you what you pair it up with. I might have to take a look at that. I was just gonna go with the standard human because I didn't bother. How bad would it be if I played a wild magic sorcerer? <laughs> be awesome. It wild sounds like you actually. <laughs> I, well, yeah, the first. The game we ever played, I played a wild magic barbarian. So yep. it was fantastic. I didn't even know that was a thing. I played rage. barbarian. It, yeah. So oh, much. Oh, okay, but the wild magic sorcerer is so much worse than the wild magic barbarian because you could fully just kill your party by accident. <laughs> oh, we're well, not keen on that part, but that it's really bad. But we know why they <laughs> want you to be an adventurer as well. Really fun. Yeah, they're like, get out of here. Just yes. for the record, this campaign is not centered around TPKs. So uh... <laughs> maybe uh. don't. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> At least not by theme. <laughs> I'd say go for it though. It sounds like that fun. remains to be seen. I think. Yep. Yeah, it's about what's what's going to be fun. Yeah, it's very fun, but I also she's a really sad character. I made for it. Oh, I'll switch yeah, it up. No, I'm going to go here in human now. That's good. That's cool. That's good. Okay, so so I'm not gonna get will the sneak attack go up first. Well, sneak attack is at first level, but but when it goes it go up, up, it so. I don't remember it's three or five. At third. Yeah. So I gotta pick good. Proficiencies right now. Switch this guy to a variant. Hero is all done. There you go, thinking again. <laughs> Ouch! Ow! Ow! I hate thinking. Ow, my brain. My brain. Ow! <laughs> and how many in point by. Oh, it says here how many get? 27. Okay. Is that how many we're going? 27? Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to max out Dex for sure. If you um, take a strength uh, or have a low, str like a minus one in strength, but you have a dexterity based weapon, does your is your damage be still minus by the strength or is it both attack? No, it's dexterity based. based. Yep, it's all dex based, both hit and damage. Mm. I don't think I'll. It's a dumb stat. <laughs> I almost always dump strength. I don't know why. I just don't play a lot of strength-based characters. So I'm always <laughs> like, get out of my fucking face with this. Because <laughs> dex is basically Army. equal to strength now for that build, it, yeah, it, it's totally dumpable for many characters. I also just, like, don't play fighters and <laughs> barbarians and paladins very often. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I can pick the, and it says for this class I can pick um, 
three scores with a plus one instead of increasing two scores at a plus one, plus two, and plus one. Is that mm -hmm. that's fine? Okay. Yep. Min maxing here. Yeah, that's the new way. Yeah. Um, basically, in in new next D and D, everybody's going to have the option to do plus two, plus one, or plus one, plus one, plus one, wherever they want them. Yeah. I and like that, first, but at I... the same time, I like I like race specific ones. Yeah, specific. I like that too. But yep. everyone tries but to min max. Get it. Everyone yeah, tries to exactly. min max, and then like, they I, end up I picking like a race to min max with instead of. I also yeah. get it though because. I also get it because not all characters of the same race are going to be the same. Yeah. Yep. And they it's wouldn't really be anyway because you'd choose yeah. different things, but you're going to min-max for your class anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, the, the thing I like about the, the new way is it opens up choice. You can you can be a fighter and be anyone. You could be a cleric and be anyone. Yeah. Like you, you don't have to... You could be a rogue and be anyone. You don't, you're not yeah. stuck with a couple races that are good at being rogue. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that a lot. Too, because and I like can, to make weird combo characters. You can put into your world that they're more commonly, you know, clerics in this race or whatever, or this area. And then it doesn't need to be tied to race. It can be tied to area or tied to whatever you want in your world. I do like that. All right. I think this is... Yeah, I like it because it allows me to make builds that are goblin paladins and <laughs> gnome fighters. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're like, don't worry no about it. They're just jacked as fuck. Oh, I don't know if I want to. I want to sacrifice my strength for more wisdom or perception. Ah, that's that's my excuse. That's my excuse when I don't want to work out. <laughs> I'm just sacrificing my strength for more wisdom. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh. Well, now what happened? Where'd everybody go? Did I accidentally turn off all the images? That's so weird. Hey, just talk for a sec. Where are you? Testing. One, two, three. Oh, I don't see your image. It went away. I just sent you something because it's technically homebrew, but basically not homebrew. So I just wanted to get your opinion on it. There it is. Back now. Yeah, sure thing. Sounds good. Yeah? Yep. Okay, I'm thinking about that. I just think it fits very nicely thematically. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Okay, I'm thinking I want to go cleric because I, 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 don't, I don't play clerics very often. I don't think I've almost Clerics are quite fun. Cleric. I love clerics. I don't think I've ever. I might have never played a cleric. I'm not. 100%. <laughs> I think I've played one maybe once, but it was like a war cleric dwarf. It was a fighter cleric, I think. It was pretty violent. <laughs> he had like tattoos all over his face. <laughs> so I've narrowed it down to two of my characters. Now I just need to narrow it down to which subdomain, which which domain I want to play. Wash buckler. It's got to be one for that. Oh, pirate. There you go. Oh, so I get athletics. I don't want athletics. Acrobatics should be the one for pirates. Come on. Yar. <laughs> 
Well, no, sometimes you need to grapple uh, for so you can kidnap your uh, your they should, they should give you the it. choice so you have which type of pirate you want. Right. Yeah. I'll pick something else. Right, that's true. Sailor. So what's the stance on Twilight Domain? Oh, same thing. Because I know some DMs don't like them. Uh, I have to look it up. I thought you were going to stop at Twilight for a second, and I was like, "Please don't." <laughs> no, everyone. Please don't do stuff. What, no, what everyone. are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> What's the so stance on Twilight here? What's everybody's stance on Twilight? <laughs> Just wondering. Just wondering. <laughs> one another. Uh, asking I for think a it's friend. Too <laughs> blue of a movie. We go from Lizzie McGuire to Twilight. <laughs> Nah, I was not into Twilight. <laughs> Every to be fair, everybody had a Twilight phase. It was either you loved Twilight or you fucking hated it, but either way, you held a strong opinion. I had neither, so maybe I'm an outlier there. Yeah, my sister well, really enjoyed. Special? I'm so special. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I'm just not I like just... other girls. I'm just so unlike them. I couldn't make it through the movie. I got five minutes to the end and I got cringed out. I mean, I watched them really the first must be two. special. <laughs> I tried to read the book. It was fucking boring. <laughs> I was like do you, reading do you uh, recall what it is some DMs have a problem with Twilight Domain about? No, I do not remember. I just remember that Twilight Domain and Peace Domain clerics DMs are like, mm, there's issues. I think, yeah, Peace Domain Clerics can be very OP. Peace Domain Clerics are fucking broken. Yeah, but that I one I understand. People, I haven't really heard too much deck. about the Twilight Domain one, though. I think it's the Twilight... Uh, One second, let me check. It, the, the, their ability the to sure. see and do stuff in the darkness. There's, no, Twilight. it's not that that I think people have issues with. sparkle? It's... <laughs> the twilightness it's the sparkling it's yeah. gotta be the sparkling it's gotta be the sparkling no i think it's the i can't remember what it's called really annoying me that i can't it's like their main fucking feature and i can't remember what it's called i'm pretty sure if you're talking about twilight it's sparkle is it twilight sanctuary <laughs> their channel divinity yes thing? yes okay. it's twilight sanctuary that Refresh some your allies don't like. soothing twilight is an actually Thank you. I was like, it's literally the main skill of it. I just can't remember. Do you have any special languages that um, are in your world? No. So it's basically immunity to charmed or frightened for a minute. That's not the end of the world. It's a D6 hit points every turn that you're in the thing. Temporary hit points. They don't stack, so I don't see that that's particularly terrible. I mean, you're going to be I guess there's a minute there where you're pretty tanky, where everyone in the team is pretty tanky. Probably what it is. Yeah, I just know some people think it's fuck it's broken, and I'm like, no, it's nowhere close to, to broken as fucking piece of domain clerics. That right. shit is insane. Go for it. And I will adapt to make it uh, good. I I still haven't actually decided if I want to do Twilight Domain or Arcana Domain because they're both cool. Both so cool. Arcana Domain. Has everybody else picked their characters and it's just me like lingering? Oh, I'm still going through yeah. mine. No, I'm still going through. Yeah. I'm... Okay. <laughs> I was like, is that I'm gonna hold up here. <laughs> I've gone for the lore bard, I think. Ooh, a classic. See, I wanted to play kind of like a low key anthropologist. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like That's it. fun. It's like my druid that was the alcoholic drink anthropologist. Except for mine's cuter than yours. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> just no. tossing it out. It was a dwarf. Just I, mean... I know. 
Dwarf and cute don't go together usually. <laughs> Yeah, it won't be like that. I'm a cute dwarf. It'll it'll be interesting. Yeah, so their their form of being a bard might not be much of song or poem writing. It might be field notes, incredibly intrusive be, field notes. It'd be fun to be a bagpiper dwarf uh, bard. <laughs> God, that's just an excuse for some player to do an obnoxious Scottish accent. Yeah. That's all that is. <laughs> that totally is. <laughs> and to play some annoying music. <laughs> Start playing the bad piper. <laughs> the, the real Mackenzie's <laughs> maybe. <laughs> right. The bad piper. I get four precision seas as a rogue. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, because they have all those skills they got to do with their thieves tools. Right. Like stealth is a skill and sleight of hand is a skill for picking pockets. And I don't even remember them all. Thieves tools is the proficiency for doors I'm going to pick deception deception yep it's always like a choice do you want to go deception or persuasion or have to spend two two on to get both <laughs> so you can do it either way well we also have a bard too so all right i'll leave the persuading to the bard <laughs> i'm already getting the you have two ready. persuasive people it'd be fine <laughs> I did go for a good charisma. So. Mm -hmm. One one thing that um, I like to do, and I haven't really f come down on exactly on where this is. This is pro one of the closest things I have to a house rule. But everybody should be talking to NPCs. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. No I think it's important to get people like if you, if you have something to say, just say it. And I'll try and I'll try not to penalize the group because you're the dumb barbarian who said it. But <laughs> you know, instead of instead of the, <laughs> the, the you know the, the specific con man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baron yeah, Washington goes. I like your nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> They're good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How come I don't see stealth on here? They're the or same size. Them? Oh, Tabaxi gives that to me. Okay, I got stealth. Already. Often, often the way I end up handling that is you actually have to say the right thing in order to get a roll. Oh, I already get and so like, the conversation will be will be open and any, anyone can say what they want. And when when the, the information has come across, then there'll be a role. Okay. By by and the you know, the the persuasive people can do that that part of the job. The group effort type thing. Mm -hmm. Cool. I like mm -hmm. that. Like, sure, we're all saying things, but you're just such a good liar that it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, deception so is a little crap, different than persuasion. Like if if you're if you're gonna lie, that's different. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. Yeah, Got it. it it's, yeah. it's when you're when you're persuading somebody or negotiating or something like that. Often they'll be unmoved until you say the right thing, and and there's no role. There's no role until you say the right thing, and then there's a role. But getting to that right thing means that everybody has to be chipping in and coming up with their ideas and saying their points. Everybody has to be saying some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I know bullshit. It's one of my favorite languages. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think that's homebrew. <laughs> bullshit language. Right? Definitely. Yep. <laughs> I think that's just how I got through most of school. <laughs> Is there another way? It's like, no, I didn't read this book. Yes, I will tell you 50,000. Uh, I will tell you 5,000 words on why I thought it was stupid.
No, I think I went the different route. I said, hey, buddy, what's the answers to all these? Oh, got it. Thanks. Oh, I definitely did that sometimes. <laughs> John is the reason that I passed everything. <laughs> Let's see next page. So um, I picked I didn't pick the pirate one because I didn't like the skills I got. So I picked Fire Traveler, which is makes sense for a Tabaxi to be far from home. Any uh, particular reason that you ended up here and adventuring with these folks, um, or about to adventure with these folks, I should say. I haven't thought of that yet. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, interesting. So um, uh, one of the cool things about the um, Far Traveler is that uh, your thing is like you can, you because people are curious about you, you can uh, kind of get yourself into places where you wouldn't normally be able to get into. <laughs> I like that, actually. Like being able to talk your way into a party or something. Yeah, or like it says that people are because um, you're interested are yeah. interested in uh, uh, you, like uh, friendly interests of scholars or others intrigued by far off lands, mm. or everyday folk who are eager to hear stories of your homeland. So, I guess like I gotta make up a homeland. In... <laughs> it's like that scene in Love Actually, where the American women are just absolutely enthralled by the fact that he's English. <laughs> <laughs> I was just having, like, I was just in England story, a couple yeah, a couple weeks ago and I don't know none of that stuff happened to me so But I want to say you were there with your wife and daughter, and that does tend sometimes to change people's, uh, you know, willingness to mention things. Fair enough. Sometimes. Yep. <laughs> sometimes. Uh, alignment. Oh, alignment. How did I? Not do alignment yet. Okay, alignment. here's another home roof thing. Yeah. Don't care so much for alignment. I didn't think um, so. <laughs> oh, good. I, th I, th I think of it as uh, observational rather than prescriptive. So yeah, you don't have to write down a way to behave. Like your alignment is basically how you how you act, and it probably won't be relevant. I mean, you I break laws to go to jail, but that's not the same. Okay, thing. good. Yeah, I mean, I generally I my... use it as a guide for my own role playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, certainly if you want to write it down, stuff like that, you know. But I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna ask about it. It'll be like, I put yeah. my faith as very little. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Me, whenever sure. health teachers talked about spiritual health, girl, what? <laughs> <laughs> Such a wild thing. To, like, yeah, I don't have any. Like it's not just religious. I'm like, mm, yeah, but I I don't like any of it. You gotta go to like you know. Mm, thanks. Zen. I think I'll just gotta like. Be zen. <laughs> mm, right. Thanks. I think I'll just oh. eat some broccoli. Oh come on now, yeah. Nothing wrong with broccoli. No, I love broccoli. I think broccoli is a great vegetable. I love That's broccoli as well. That's why instead of. Doing some spiritual shit. I think I'll just eat some broccoli. It's unanimous. Like, broccoli rocks. There you go. Have a broccoli chat. rocks. And like yeah. have a, a chat with my friend. Okay. The question now there I know is why raw Oliver. or cooked? Both. Cooked. I hate raw broccoli. I hate raw. There we broccoli. go. That's where what goes wrong. That's where we go wrong here. <laughs> I'm good with that. I don't either. know why. I've always, team, but... <laughs> I've always hated it raw. I like it cooked. We have to be on the opposite sides of the playing field here. Sorry. Gotta have the, the raw broccoli. Especially when it's cooked in 
soy sauce. Hoisin okay. sauce and garlic. That's the best okay. way to eat any vegetable. Well, ever. you're making it a little bit fancier than just steam, so that's good. It yeah. is yeah. not that fancy. You steam it and then you toss it in a frying pan, and it's incredible. It's the best way to eat any vegetable. <laughs> Practically plain. Okay, I need opinion mm. Arcana or Twilight Domain? Yes. Because I've just been staring at this back and forth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Roll for it. Way. There you go. Uh, I don't like that. I don't have a experience with either Arcana or Twilight, so I can't really tell you either way. So here, here's, a, here's a little philosophical thing. Do the roll. Because when you do the roll, the roll will either feel right or wrong, and then you'll know what you actually mm -hmm. want. Yeah, exactly. I feel like either way, mm -hmm. though, it's going to... Okay, I'm going to flip a coin. When you're um, uh, trying to figure out what you want to eat for breakfast, and it suddenly mm -hmm. says you don't want to eat Cheerios, but you want to eat the Cheerios. <laughs> yeah. yep. I'll just inhale, like, three hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that protein in. Okay, heads is... Twilight? Oh, now I feel... Or... Yeah, heads is Twilight, tails is Arcana. As soon as you say best two out of three, you know what it is. <laughs> Extended silence. I know. I got... <laughs> I got tails, but now I'm like, but I want to play the Twilight. Don't then play Twilight! There you go. There you, there you go. go. Okay. That, that's, okay. that helped okay. me. Yep. If you were okay, to ask me, Twilight. I'd say totally Twilight. Yeah, oh yeah. Twilight. Oh, yeah. I did ask you, and nobody gave an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't I was really hoping. Then. Yeah, I was really hoping the coin was going to land on its side, and then I would have given you my opinion. <laughs> it was a digital coin. I do not have any physical coins on me at this exact moment, unfortunately. Yeah, fair enough. I need to change Too many people have any. Scores. We're doing standard array, right? Yep. Uh, point. Okay. Oh. Or point by. They're both. Point. They work out. Oh, the same point way. by. Point by is what I meant. I just forgot. What's, what so called. what's? Okay, now I got to ask a stupid question, just because you know, uh, what's what's the standard versus point? Oh, like I I do point by all the time. What's the other one? Standard array is like there's a there's a set of numbers that they've bought with point by that you can just have. It's like 15, 14, oh, 12, 12, 12, 10, 8, or something like that. I'm always so yeah. upset I can't go below eight. Oh wait, are we going point right? by? Me too. We're going point by. Right? Yes, point I will by. Yeah, go below point eight. Point. It's bullshit that I can't go below eight. What on strength? On strength. Well, I have for a her, it'd be strength. With, but... I have a I have a character that has a six in charisma, so I vary it depending on the character. Yeah. <laughs> I just I, like having I, one thing that I'm garbage at. I had a dwarf that had a four charisma. It was perfect. Why do you need like, more? Like I kind of, I kind of want to give this bitch like an eight intelligence, but I'm not going to do that. A lot of you guys are figuring that out. Hep's sitting in the or in the back of the uh, the backyard <laughs> of the blacksmith shop, swinging things. At it, things. <laughs> oh, is there um like a list with the the people's names in it again, or like a little paragraph that can be sent out? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I fully. I will paste really them into them. Uh, into the, our. The lovely roll 20 or the lovely discord discord for this one i think yep there, oh, we, there go. we go okay dude you've got mail <laughs> oh there you posted the uh, uh the did somebody did somebody already ask for the cleric nope i would like that cleric i'm pretty sure not right or did somebody ask for the cleric i'm pretty sure it's the smith the, uh, the fighter the wizard and the rogue were taken I would like the cleric then. Sounds I would like good. to be like his apprentice. Is the um... there are there are a great many acolytes at the temple. 
um, often acolytes of Silat. There is even a dormitory near the temple where acolytes can stay free of charge. How bad would it be if Constitution was my dump stat? <laughs> that would be really bad. It do not do that. I've done contest. that before. It's not good. <laughs> the minus one hit points per level? Yeah, that's awful. Yeah. Especially when we're not getting like a chance to roll, so it's going to be But, low. and hear me out, I kind of want Constitution to be my dump <laughs> Do it. <laughs> do it. You're going to spend an all day healing yourself? One. I don't know which other... Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm always in my. <laughs> am I within thirty feet of me? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which other one I want to jump. I always like having one low stat, but I can't decide which one I want to have low. So I'm just like, I kind of want to just do Constitution, but I also don't want to die. Fucking <laughs> Marissa, the horse girl. <laughs> Sorry, I love I... that name. I love that. It's just like you have all of these odd names, and then you have Marissa. And Marissa. Mm -hmm. Marissa just loves horses. What can he say? <laughs> so, uh, I, I ran. I ran this campaign for another group, and a lot of these names and uh, occupations came from that group. Marissa mm -hmm. herself is actually emerging. I actually simplified the, the the first time I ran it. It had way too many NPCs, and mm -hmm. so I did end up merging a few of them together. And the druid and the horses were like the only real kind of pairing that could go with those druid. two. So Marissa started as a druid that lived out of town, and then I needed somebody who ran the stables and didn't have mm -hmm. anybody, and it's like ah. Oh, crap yeah so the horse the horse girl thing is an, an unfortunate side effect listen hey, as somebody you know, who was definitely a horse girl in elementary school <laughs> i just think it's really funny you know what we should do uh as a group um pick a when you pick your language pick a language that we, are, we should all pick the same like obscure language so we can talk in that language to each other Oh, when I was reading the original uh, little b blurb that Jess sent us that I know that everybody read, uh, originally <laughs> kobolds and uh, Schlagen, I think, were the two other races that inhabited the island. Hmm. So I actually picked Draconic so I could speak kobold. I was going to pick that as the one, so. Okay, yeah, I picked Draconic. There you, go. Uh, there you go. I speak common and celestial, so I can pick Draconic. For... Cool. No, watch. We encounter nothing but cobalt. <laughs> right? Uh, what else can I do? Sorry, what was the other thing on the island? Uh, sh 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 is it Schlagen or? Schlagen? Oh, so yeah. Hugen. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck is a Schlagen? <laughs> it's like a. <laughs> It's, it's a, a thingy. It's a you, people say it differently. So so yeah. uh, I called it Sahuagen, but they're like the shark people. Hogan. Shark person. Shark Thank people, you. Yeah. yeah, they 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 have been reported in the waters off the island. What do they speak? Mach Probably one? their own thing. Fish. Fish. <laughs> they they speak guppy. On here. Sounds a little like primordial is probably the the elemental languages, right? Yeah, no idea. I'm pretty sure it is the like what Genasi typically speak. I have that as one of my chosen languages. It's primordial. Yeah. I speak yeah. common, celestial, primordial, and draconic. Draconic. So who again, so who again speaks so who again? That's it. Okay, it's not on the list. Did it all for the so who again? If you were if you were some kind of if you were a sea elf, I'd give you I'd let you pick it. Oh, okay. Or something along those lines, but you know. Okay. What did you end up yeah. with? Ancestry wise? Me? Yeah. Uh so I'm the uh, uh, Tabaxi Khajiit. rogue. Right. Tabaxi. Tabaxi, right. Tabaxi. Yeah. And uh Kaji, yeah, from uh <laughs> is that Skyrim. From Skyrim, yeah. Elder Scrolls. Yeah, Elder Scrolls. Um, yeah, I'm a uh, Tabaxi rogue, 
with uh, the background of Far Traveler. And uh, so I was going to ask you, um, does uh, Tusker speak in sort of a pirate-ish kind of accent? Uh, he can. Okay. I'm he gonna, does now. I'm going to give myself a uh, sort of... Um, uh, kind of, uh, uh, I have an, a natural accent, but I'm gonna take on the accent of of Tusker. So I'll talk like a pirate sometimes, and other times I'll I'll lapse back into my other accent. Army Hardy. <laughs> how 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 you how did you and Tusker meet? Uh is does he travel like far away he from the to. place? Okay, so I think um I was like a young tabaxi and i wanted to see the world and my family wanted to just you know stay uh they're the type that want to stay put and be comfort and i was the opposite of that so i ran away from home and he was uh is was he does he have sort of a piratey background or whatever I mean, he was... it's not super piratey but he, yeah. he he did sail the seas with his adventuring group on his boat yeah so and like he he doesn't have he doesn't i mean less less murder and piracy or okay. less less murder and thieving and like more kind of adventuring okay so he, he yeah um, i thought swashbuckler doesn't mean pirate necessarily. yeah it just means yep. like seafaring rogue yeah so he's uh he snuck onto his boat and uh and then was found once they couldn't uh turn back and uh so he kind of took on the uh role of the cabin boy to learn um the adventuring trade from them and, came up through the ranks yeah and uh uh specifically focused on tusker because he's the the type of uh rogue that he wants to be and Got now it. he's all the way up to cabin boy yeah <laughs> <laughs> cabin cat <laughs> cabin cat you're the ship's cat I'm the shit's cat. Yeah, you're the cat. They did have those to I cat. Just call myself cat. <laughs> this is mine. That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> I love. Oh my god! I, I want to do this now. <laughs> I love the old. I love those old pictures of like um, like navy ships and stuff. And there's just like little cats and kittens because they hunt kind of the mice yeah. for them on those really big navy. Ah, oh, I love those pictures. I. I think you have to. I think you have to bump up your charisma there, Logan, so that you can be like, "This is mine. This is mine." How am I looking now? Yeah, I did max good. it out. I do have that. Nice. <laughs> I maxed it. You're the you're the cat from Red Dwarf. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I'm gonna play it with a different <laughs> accent, but maybe I'll. My hair good. looks good. My eyes look good. Yeah. I'm looking good. I fully thought you were about to say my ass looks good, and I was like, I'm sorry, you're what? <laughs> my tail looks well, good. Well, you haven't my seen that to back looks good. And I was like, um, okay. You obviously my haven't met the tobacco to yet. Right? Forget about abs. I've got one power ab. <laughs> <laughs> abs are for people who need more than one yep exactly filter these portraits. powder keg of experience okay we've got most people named except for we got acacius i Hanan, just temporarily Degarn, put cat because i don't decide i did <laughs> hep smith Celine and Vampire Logan's character in quotes. <laughs> um, right now, I'm trying to find I a picture. I was going to ask something and then I forgot what it was. I love that. Is that your favorite? Just because I'm lazy and really I'm gonna steal character background from uh, Hamilton Fisher. <laughs> 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 I thought you were gonna stop after Hamilton, and I was like, "You're gonna steal Hamilton's background? You were yeah, away on like, an island. Your mom died. You were taken you in were by your bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman <laughs> dropped in the middle of the Pacific and number forgotten spot Great. in the Caribbean." <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> man. Impoverished and poor. I was gonna say. <laughs> 
We're gonna, we're gonna need some tissue in a second here. <laughs> I'm just laughing. I'm not. I don't. I've not thought about Hamilton in a while. Now, like it just keeps coming. It's out. just coming yeah. back. Ugh. Patience. What was your um ally, friend, family member from the uh, NPC Umbard. list? Umbard. 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 Yeah. And how do you know Umbard? So, um, I will say that Umbard is Acacia's somewhat adoptive father, though they keep each other's kind of at emotional arm's length. Um, they feel incredibly indebted to Umbard, as okay. um, as I have in Acacia's background, that he was pulled from the erect foreign ship in his childhood. Um, and with nothing but his will to learn, persuasive tongue, they he decided to maybe we could work for one board. And instead, seeing a young boy without a home, Umbard just decided to take him in. Okay. So sounds like we're going for a bunch of runaways and orphans. <laughs> he's not a runaway, but yeah, <laughs> that's my guy. The runaway. <laughs> Celine's not really either. She just doesn't really know where she came from. Oh, orphan. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't know. Urchin, anyway. Uh, <laughs> and how do you know Fretio Mender? Um, well, so her background is acolyte, so I was assuming that she kind of went to this temple. Um, uh, I was gonna ask, is Ciela? You said it was a life domain. Could it work? Would that work for Twilight Domain? It seems like it should, right? Sure. Yeah. Yep. Like I worshiping the comet. It's, it's a celestial body. I think it that totally should work. Okay, then she, yeah, she's gonna be a, a follower, a worshiper of Seal. Disciple, follower, yeah. Sure. Um, um, cause she doesn't really know anything about who she is or where she came from or what what she is. Um, I think she heard stories of the comet and uh, of of Seelot and decided to go to the temple and join as an acolyte and then. Um, she's kind of quiet and a little shy, which is going to be really hard for me to play because I'm loud as fuck. Um, what? You? <laughs> and um, I, I like to think that uh, Freddie O kind of like took her under his wing a little bit and like helped her out. Okay. Oh, How was your relationship at the temple when, when you got there? Were you uh, received well or... Not so much. I think, I think people were a little weirded out by her a little bit, but like no one dislikes her or anything. She just doesn't really have a lot of friends because she doesn't try to have a lot of friends. Right. Like she has a couple of people who like, like she has like a one girl who just like asserted herself as her friend. It's like this is my <laughs> friend now. You got adopted by an extrovert. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, and Celine's just kind of like, okay. Um, but no, not really anything malicious, just... Mr. Welda, your friend. If that works for you. And we're doing starting equipment, uh, or equipment or gold. Uh, your call. Okay. Bretham, or Brian, uh, mm -hmm. sorry, what the hell is your name? Hep. Uh, Hep, right. Hepatitis, Hepatitis. yep. Hepatitis <laughs> B, baby. Wait, is it Hepatitis B, A, or C? Oh, everybody loves me. Hepatitis <laughs> alphabet. Exactly. Um, you were born to Bretham, and, uh, you know, how, how was your childhood? She was probably missing for a good deal of it off on adventures. Uh, yeah, well, my childhood was, of course, you know, your standard when your parents, a famous adventurer, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, he's going to be a great fighter. And so, you know, I've had to live through that for most of my life. Um, my childhood with her being away, uh, don't know the father. Um, that's why she's uh, also Smith. She's uh, very much that father figure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 
when when she did finally come back, I mean, I, it was just you know just one of those childhoods. Everybody's like, oh well, you're so and so's daughter, and and you know you get people taking care of you a bit because you know who she was. I was gonna say, um, who raised pretty, you? <laughs> right. Well, yeah, you know, just the people in the town because uh, takes cause, a village. You know, I takes a village <laughs> exactly, and and they look after her because or looked after me because she looked after them. So. So that's, uh, you know, that's just the way it was. It wasn't a big thing, but, uh, you know, I try to learn most of my stuff on my own, which is why I'm really smart and, uh, and really wise. But I can smash things, because that's what I was good at as a kid, and I'm still good at smashing things. Well, your mom's proud. Uh, there are some pronouns right? out there. Is uh, Hep uh, male or female? Male. Hep okay. is male. Yeah. That was good. Um... Uh, so yeah, when she came yeah, back, Bretham isn't much of a crier, um, and wasn't really up for changing oh, diapers so much. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but I I don't know that she left because she wanted to be an adventurer, or she left because she just didn't want to take care of a kid. Either one doesn't really matter. I am who I am, and I'm proud of who I am. Mm -hmm. Though for some reason she doesn't like me in the smithy, she says I just don't have the eye for detail. Okay, so yeah, it sounds like there's a bit of an echo there where like you were you were here so she left. And yeah, now, now she's back on you're, she's here, so you have to leave. Yeah. And go adventuring. Yeah, you got it. Right. So is that is that kind of parental distancing thing where you're not particularly close, something you wanna lean into? Um well, yeah, I I I've always hated the fact that, you know, the reason that people treated me the way that I was is just because, well, you're so-and-so's daughter or so-and-so's son. Um, uh, so that was, you know, there's a bit of resentment going on there, but at the same time, if, if I was ever in trouble and things weren't going my way, heck yeah, I would drop my mom's name and be like, Oh yeah, well I'm so-and-so's son. So there. Right. But yeah, I would like it one day, you know, for people to go, oh, you're so-and-so, not so-and-so's kid. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you want to make your own name. Exactly. Aw, you're a nepotism yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah, I am. So that's oh, sweet. But like, are you like one of those nepotism babies who loves to pretend that they aren't a nepotism baby? <laughs> and they're like, I got here all on my own. And you're like, okay, sure, sweetie. Yeah, exactly. Everybody knows the truth. The problem is that it's the smaller town, so everybody knows the truth. So there's nobody yeah. to talk to apart from people that already like, know okay. the truth. Yeah. Like right. Well I okay. I did this and they're like, No, actually, remember we took care of you that summer? Yeah, whatever. God, I hate you guys. So they've all like <laughs> known you since you were like a fucking baby. Yeah, so exactly. You're like trying to be cool and they're like, mm, I changed your diaper. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, remember when I smashed that thing in your house? Well, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I'm going to smash that thing in your house? Oh, remember when you um, fell out of a tree and broke your arm? No, I remember when I fell out of a tree and broke your son's arm. <laughs> you remember when you changed them? my diaper and I pissed all over you? I'm going to do that <laughs> yeah. again. Yeah. Exactly. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> um... Let's see, uh, Vamp, do you have a name for your character yet? Uh, yeah, I entered it in the D&D Beyond. It's Jules. Jules. Okay. That is a stripper name. And I... <laughs> I How is it spelled? I'm 100% for it. Uh, J-U-L-E-S. Yeah, no, I respect yeah. that. Jules, yeah. Right, okay, as in Jules Verne, right? Yeah. There's the, the Far oh, Wonder like, connection. Okay. Jules. <laughs> yes, no, I am Jules. Name is I like Jules. Jules. Okay, it's a French yeah. name. I got confused. That's not a stripper name. That's the famous French. Author. That's not really French. Well, I, I really I have no idea what he did in his spare time. Maybe it is well, a stripper. I was name. gonna say, are you sure that he wasn't a stripper? But what are you gonna see? It's just. I fur. mean, who knows? But <laughs> iconic French writer. Yep. I strip her furries. 
Is this a <laughs> yeah. like? Is this a, like a Disney Disney cartoon that wears a shirt and no pants? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Donald Duck in um, it. <laughs> so how how did uh, do you have do you have any memory of where you were before you stowed away on Tusker's boat? Uh, yeah, it's whatever in your world is the um, Tabaxi homeland. Completely up to you. Yeah, um, we'll say Don't expect it's like to a, go there during the game. Yeah, <laughs> it's a place where they uh, um, are very uh, insular and don't uh, like too many um, outsiders there. They like their they protect their area very viciously, but the, at in the homes it's very um, you know loving. So nasty. Yeah, ones. but uh, outsiders they're not too fond of. Gotcha. And it's then what was the far process of the kind sea. of like coming up on on the boat? Sorry, what was that like, again? What was the process of coming up on the boat, like gaining ranks and you know earning your place? So, um, first of all, Were the you first thing I had along to, with the crew. First thing I had to overcome was my, uh, which I didn't actually overcome, but I said I did, which is the fear of water. <laughs> okay. Um, and. Uh, the sorry interactions with the crew did you say mm, yeah like uh, did the did the crew think of you as a crewmate or a pet that is um a debatable i don't think they do but they may think that uh whereas Depends on the crewmate my uh, my character's kind of ego is a little bit such that he wouldn't think that of anyone uh he's he's fascinated by anything strange and wonderful he um he has a thirst to learn new things, uh, very inquisitive, uh, but he's also can be cunning. So, uh, they, they, people often underestimate him and, uh, he likes it that way. And, uh, he's also, um, really big into freedom and exploring and the wonders of the world. So he, he's kind of in, in some ways he, he, he's like a, uh, an innocent, and uh, like just fascinated by the new things, but then he's also can be like kind of clever and manipulative. So I think being on that crew, he may have been like treated like a um, like a pet, but then you know he, they may have learned differently when he allowed them to by you know tricking them or or, or cheating them out of something. He's good at uh, cards as well, right? It sounds to me like you were thought of as like a a, a beloved mascot. Yeah, yeah. That like, <laughs> like that people didn't like have ha, have any ill will towards you or want to control you or keep you caged like yep. a pet. But that everyone everyone was like, like really everyone was your best friend, but in a slightly condescending way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everyone's just like fucking check this guy out. <laughs> And probably brought good luck to the ship, or people believed that. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, for my look, my he's a calico cat color, so he has multicolored. I love hair. calico cats. <laughs> I'm really excited by that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hannon, how's uh, how's Hi. your life story coming along? Oh, it's typed out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? All right, so Hannon's extended family consists of seafaring high elves. Roughly two de decades ago, a large exploring party shipwrecked on the south coast of the Fortunate Isle. Most of them survived and eventually set down roots in a nearby river mouth west of uh, Comet Fall. They got along with the local humans quite well, and he was one of the many resulting children. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. and grew up, he grew up exploring the coast, river, and venturing into town. He especially enjoys the hubbub around the castle and the docks, which are a far cry different than the relative peace of his remote home. Hanan grew into his warlock powers late in his teens, realizing that he could channel the benevolence of Silat to heal people or deal decisively with the stubborn. He is a gregarious person, and through many conversations, learned several languages. He has also grown into a position of trust within the church. It's, uh, basically, his, uh, his background, he is um, uh, a faction agent. So, 
take that where you want. I just kind of put that hook out there. Okay. Um, he's a likable person. The harbor master and the commercial fishermen know him by sight, as do several of the city elders. Most have come to appreciate his presence, as he seems to have a natural peacemaker and negotiator vibe about him. He won't shy away from work either, and extra hands are always welcome when repairing sails, hauling in a catch, or translating for foreigners. And that's pretty much all I got for him. Cool. Okay. The interesting uh, point about the river west, the river mouth west of Comet Fall, that's the river where the Comet matter from the mines is transported to the sea. So uh, the the mines are up that river. Um, if you want to work any of that in. I mean, you, the elves could be coming to the, the high elves that you were with, could have been coming to the the mines or yeah. picking up a shipment or something like that. Yeah, they're explorers or purchasers or whatever. And yeah, that works. I like that. Okay. How do I get my character sheet into the um, roll 20? I have a sheet in right. there, but it's so not the right it's sheet. It's less important now. Actually, okay. you, can, you can roll everything. So I'll need to create you guys characters and we'll need to set their names to be the same thing as your other characters. But um because there's already a character sheet in don't there. Don't need to import the whole thing. Cuz I don't have all the rules. Like I don't have tabaxi and stuff like that in there, but you can you can, we can roll everything off of D&D Beyond. Should I just enter this um stuff in under the sheet as my character or cuz I have that test VL character which we Right. In before. That was, yeah, that was a test. We'll just delete that one, I think. Okay. And then, can I do that or do you do that? I think you have to do that. I do that. Okay. So there should be a character for you now called Ori Clade. Okay. I'm going to just rename that, actually, because I can... So should I use uh, edit no, sheet directly? VL. No, you don't even need to. You just you just go in and change like the names and stuff like that, and make sure you can control everything, and you should be fine. Because right. um, then we'll, we'll, like I say, we'll roll it in D and D Beyond. There, I changed it to Jules. Okay. All oh, right, yeah, because we have uh, roll um, beyond twenty. So. Well, I hope you don't under end up twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would not be good. That would be unfortunate. Why did I just forget my character's name for like a solid five seconds? <laughs> it's literally a really easy name to remember too. Oh yeah, if you guys want to give me your character names, I'll uh, put them into the fields for the stream. Um, Ritter is what's your character name? Acacius. Uh, spell that for me. <laughs> A C A C I U S. There. And then Zoe. Celine. Celine? Yeah. With an S. Yes. Okay. There and Carl. H A H N E N. H A H. N E N. Hanan. Nancy Edward Nancy. Okay. Right, I, got I got really confused by that, and I was like, your name is e Nancy Edward Nancy? Nancy? <laughs> <laughs> and that's an interesting that was name. Gonna... That's cruel appearance. There, there, yeah. that, my next character is going to be Nancy Edward Nancy the fourth. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> the fanciest lad. The fanciest. <laughs> the fanciest Nancy around. Oh, man. I just remembered Cabin Boy. Have you seen that movie? 
the fancy. You're a fancy lad, ain't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got that right. Mm -hmm. Dave, I've created characters for everyone and assigned you control of the character. Um, the only thing that's super important on the character uh, is we'll build a, a, a token for them um, with a picture. Also, their name has to be exactly the same as it is in D and D Beyond. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, okay. Yep. The same. Okay. I'm gonna where are we? I'm... Title of screen. Okay. Should we I'm just gonna drop everybody's characters. Do you want us to send you uh, uh... images? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Tokens was the word I was looking for. Tokens. I'll I'll figure one out. I have one, so I'll just send it over to you, and I'll I'll DM it to you. Okay. Just so it's not cluttering. I gotta scroll down because I got a bunch of garbage on oh, my phone. I should delete some of this shit. Here we go. Ooh. Got it. Oh yeah, if you get the uh, image, if you put it into the um. Uh, shattered chat. I can actually copy it into this uh, stream as well. Okay. No, oh. I'll send it there then. Yeah. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna bubba bounce real quick and grab some fucking pretzels. I want a snack. <laughs> yeah. Me too. What have I got? I could really use some broccoli after our recent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, I have cold pizza in the fridge, but I don't should eat that right now. I Got a plate of water. meat and cheese sitting here that it's supposed <laughs> to go with the wine that I drank. Oh. Get more wine. More wine. More wine. <laughs> more wine. <laughs> That's about I all didn't... the wine I can take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm already I'm too whiny without wine. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need wine. <laughs> mm. That's enough. Al alcohol brings out the best in me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Truer words were never said. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I see? Oh, yeah. There. Hey, Celine has a portrait. Yay, hey. Celine! All right, let's copy these in. Oops. while we're doing this a mm -hmm. little bit about Umbard. Umbard has currently been working since his adventuring days. He's actually had a position in the castle okay. uh, being the official mage um, to uh, a fellow by the name of LaForge of Chaden. Um, That's a name. He, he is uh, <laughs> he's the leader of the town, the mayor, if you will. He was He's originally from the town of Chaden, which is the capital on the eastern coast and he's been sent here to kind of keep things going. He seems a decent leader unlike the unlike the prince in uh in Chaden itself. Um but how how did you find kind of like being an adopted daughter to someone who worked in the castle? Um I would say in some cases Acacius I feel very in depth to them. It was daunting, similarly, because they'd probably been on the sea for a while. They were very sick. Um, 
but they put their mind to it that they wouldn't give up mm-hmm. and is trying to they're trying to um at first would um essentially they knew how to read and knew how to write but they didn't have the intelligence for true wizard work and so they were they kind of felt that their best way was just transcribing materials for umbard um which <sighs> So in some cases, they do feel the sort of paternal, the, the paternal feeling is there towards Umbard. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, it's not strained that way, not really strained, but I don't think they truly feel like father and, um, and son, actually. Right. So um, if you were transcribing for a long time, did, did Umbard have any indication that you would be able to take up magical uh, work after, or were you like thought of as more like a servant? I would say due to their, their low abilities with intelligence, but they're incredibly charismatic, Umbard did feel that they were better suited to other different types of magic. Um, Acacius does have a custom lineage. Um, and I've decided if it, if this is all right, I've decided to do magic initiate warlock, um, as part of the background. Um, okay. and so they do have some mixed magical abilities from warlock and bard. So there is some talent there. It's just not the talent that probably Umbard was hoping for. So not quite servant. Gotcha. But Acacius might f- push that narrative to feel more comfortable with where they came from. Now, does Umbard think of like talking to a warlock, like as a warlock, like talking to like some other supernatural power? Does he think that of that as like um, cheating, a clever, a, a clever <laughs> kind of like problem solving, or or a shortcut? I think he thinks it's amusing. It's funny. You didn't put the work into it. You were born with it. Maybe you got it from making a prayer to the comet. However you got it, it's funny. It's not what I did. Right. Maybe along okay. those lines. It's a little bit amusing. You won't ever be as powerful as me with that. Gotcha. It's kind of okay. like um, how you might what is the word? Indulge someone. You can use your tricks. It won't get you very far with just that. Right. And uh, I noticed uh, some pronouns there. It is acacious. Male. Male or non-binary or anything? Uh, Closer to non-binary, but male pronouns, yes. Okay. I can do that. Um... Do you have an idea of, of a look? I'll change the image a little bit. Um, I am working on a token already. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. All right, I'll, I just have one in there for a placeholder. But... I dropped one into Discord. Thank you. Oh, mm-hmm. great. Well, for me. Let's save image. Carl, is Hero Forge not the best? Is that how you got that? <laughs> It is awesome. Yeah. Yes, that's for good. sure. Yep. Nice. Yeah, I like you need to make a character it. real quick. Bam, done. Yep. Nice. Oh man. And then you just screenshot the screen brutal. instead of paying for a portrait. <laughs> I like it. Yep. That's a good call. Yeah, I might go in there and play. Scary. Yeah. I love Hero Forge. I just love the style options. Pick crew mm-hmm. offers me. Oh, I see it now. Pick yeah, it's a great. <laughs> that pick crew offers me. I can have so many. So many different styles. Yeah. They have cat people in there? <laughs> they have all the people uh, oh, in there. Oh, yeah? I think they do. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, they don't have monkey people in there. I don't know that because my mind was trying to make a monkey guy character. Nice. Now that the Hadozi are out with Spelljammer, I bet yeah. they'll be pretty quick. There was some, Although they were getting big flappy arms. There was some, like, I don't even know what it's about, but there was some, like, uh, they had to apologize for something about the Hadozi. 
Yeah. It was probably because it turned out to be kind of racist. That yeah, how, it. how is it racist? It's a it's a monkey person. No, it's their because history. They were uh, they were also... enslaved by wizards and oh. sold into into no sold they to they made they made a monkey race and then made them slaves. That's yeah. like the oh. worst possible fucking oh. combination yeah. you can do. I exactly. Never even of that. <laughs> yeah. 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 They not really good. said. They really said. So you know how we use uh, some people will call black people monkeys to dehumanize them. Yeah. So right. we're really gonna okay. roll with that. Hmm. It's like. Mm. How did yeah, that go through? Like, how did that go <laughs> yeah, through so hunts. many levels? Like, how did that go through so yeah. many levels? I would never have thought of that. <laughs> and <laughs> not a single per, not yeah. a single person went. Mm, maybe don't. So I remember there was a. Um, a All month. it proves to me is that there are not enough black people working for oh, yeah. Wizards of Coast. Yeah. It's funny, love. like right after, um, you know, the their recent work, which has been like super diverse. And they mm-hmm. they kind of like followed yeah, the, it up uh, with the which, radiant citadel, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's one's hip. I think at this point they should just stay away from making any racist slaves. Yeah, well, I think it's that's just, it's just exactly, bad. Yeah, it just, it just never goes well for them. Like I'm, I just desperately need you to like hire a like consultant or anyone to look at something and go, mm, "Don't do that." <laughs> That's a really bad idea. Really dumb. Yeah. Don't do that. Like the fact that it went through, it must have gone through so many editors and so many people, and not a single one of them went. Mm. So Yikes. I think I think one of the problems is the number of editors and reviewers is not maybe as large as people think. Yeah, it's it's definitely like they have a lot of stuff to do and people just aren't thinking on that. And they're like they're editing. If you're an editor, you're editing for like, is the text correct? And is it, um, you know, not that that's right an excuse, stuff. but uh, but uh, no, no. yeah, I, I do think the number of people that get to review the material is not as as high as as people assume it is people assume it's play tested by hundreds or thousands of people well and, and hear me and out they totally should hire not. more people then mm. yeah more yeah, considering how much, there. It's, considering it's how much bullshit really profitable they right now literally no everything yeah. just hire yeah. more people like you guys charge insane things for everything just hire more people to look at your stuff and tell you yikes especially considering how cheap they went on the uh the um bell jammer it's like you don't they put it in three books and made you have to buy this whole box set but there isn't even the same amount of stuff that was in the original release which i have that's i looked at it and was like what is what have they added here and they all they did is re kind of reprint the stuff that was already existing and just update it to 5e language it wasn't even that like nothing was really that different so I was like, I'm not buying this. I already have it. Oh yeah, it's they. On no, no, I love D and D, but it's also a fucking scam. Yeah, they keep selling <laughs> yeah. you the same thing over and over. Oh, new edition. Uh, new like, stuff. Oh, a new edition. I'm... Great. I'll just pirate that book now. Yeah. Yar. Pirate Hey, is this uh? <laughs> the um half drow swashbuckler that's pretty cool yeah this, <laughs> this is hero forge at work very specific I come up with a visual <laughs> for it so there you go she was in mid taunt and one of the other party members had one better on the initiative role well the person <laughs> she was taunting got their head splattered by a barbarian so that's the result <laughs> jules do you have a uh an image around uh i mean i have the one that's in dnd beyond i could try and export that out um didn't we do that before i thought we had a and figure out how to do that it was hard i think but it was, yeah. i think you just like just trying to save as or view source or something maybe you just screenshotted it that could have been too that might have been it yeah Let's see. Display in VTT. What? 
So you, you have a goblin by any chance? Oh, it doesn't do that. Oh, what? Here's a goblin um, kid token. <laughs> oh, nice. Like open, you can open image and new tab. Yeah, open. <laughs> if you click on the image of on the sh character sheet on D and D Beyond, oh, I can just go save and then as. just. Um, oh no, that's yeah, trying to do right the character sheet. Yeah, uh, just right click. So click on uh, the the image on the character sheet. And then yeah, that one's super tiny right, though. And I'm then right to get a click. Version. No, 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 no. Click, just straight up click on it. Yeah, it doesn't let me. And then it, no, but it opens that like the little sidebar with manage character levels, character settings, game log, short rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moment. I'm on that. Yeah, right click on the image and open image in new tab. Yeah, it doesn't have that option for me. Really? Yeah. Whack. I have Windows 11 and it's got a lot of things missing. I that used to be idea. there. Like a normal start Maybe button. Oh yeah, that is a browser thing. But yeah, it doesn't have... All the right-click menus look different in Windows 11, which I don't like. Yeah, I'm in Chrome and I don't see it either, actually. Oh, okay. Fucking losers! I'm Chrome. on Firefox. Firefox, there we go. Let's see if I can just hit this in Firefox. I also, to be fair, don't have any default images. So it could be that. I mean, I could just screen capture this. Oh, uh, yeah, Firefox is easy. Huh. There we go. Got it. Ooh. Firefox for the win, baby. <laughs> so, is there mint ice cream upstairs somewhere? <laughs> Or is that all gone? Yes. There would be mint ice cream upstairs. Where is it hidden? I don't know. It's called Find It. <laughs> yes. Child. It's called Dear, Go Dear upstairs Eliza. Upstairs I'm going to put it as like reasonably likely that it's somewhere cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, it I would guess the freezer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there in might the be two, level. but I bet it's in one of them. It's two drops. If it was winter. And it's empty and in the garbage. <laughs> if it was winter, I would guess maybe outside. Maybe, maybe. But it's not. I mean, winter. he did take out my cake and then not put it back in the fridge. That's fucking so, rude. Wazubi, can I'm, you put he's your He's complaining. Sorry, he's complaining ahead. saying he did, but I can just I can see the frosting over the coffee maker. Like I can see it out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> Get your cake. What kind of cake? Get your what kind of cake did you make? It is Oreo. Oreo. Ooh, that's oh, fun. Cake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Chocolate okay. cake, vanilla icing with Oreo top crumbles. Mm, that sounds good. There you yeah, go, Jules. Your working. portrait is updated. Okay, so we'll now. probably want to like arrange the token, the rest of the information on the token. But for now, it's good. Everyone, make sure you change your name in D and D Beyond to match exactly the name in uh, Beyond. No, Roll Twenty and D and D Beyond. They have to match the character names, right? Yeah. So it doesn't actually matter which one you change. I don't think, but the character names okay, have to cool. be the same. And the one where you have uh, your name or playing as, <laughs> does that need to match as well, or? That should automatically just be your your. It should update with your login name, so the names down at the bottom of the page should basically match that one. But it doesn't need to match the character name because I've changed yeah. it. I changed mine to Celine, but with my name on it as well. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I like see uh Celine bracket Zoli Jules slash bracket B Logan. That's really good. It's quite helpful. Yeah. I will change mine. And then I didn't give her a last name, so I don't have to worry about having a ridiculously long name on D and D Beyond, and then mm -hmm. translate. And which is handy, actually. Uh, like sometimes I think that the the long names could be hidden somewhere on the character sheet. 
Um, and because whatever it says in the character sheet is going to be what ends up in the initiative tracker, which, you know, if it's short, that's better. Yeah, no, I'm just remembering the first um, session we all played and I had Marty with mm. the longest name ever. Right? <laughs> and you were like, you literally need to change that. And I was like, fair <laughs> enough. It's in his backstory. I don't have to worry about it. I'll remember. I had to. I have to go check his backstory to remember his full name. Mm-hmm. Full name is going backstory. Pretty exactly. sure it was like Marthriel Marty, something. Pep Smith is short think... enough for a first name and last name for sure. Yeah, we could just go straight to Hep. That's good too. Hmm. I will change it in both. I love the name Celine because I found it by going to babydames.com and looking up names that meant moon. Eh. <laughs> there you go. They're like, I did not know that moon. name meant moon. Yes, it does. That's why it means it's Greek. It means moon. Yeah, that's why it's in Forgotten Realms. It's the moon goddess. Eh. Oh, is that her name? Yeah. That was Selena. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's Saloon. It's Sal- Saloon. Saloon. Yeah. Saloon, yeah. Okay, I was pretty sure it was not Celine. I thought it was pretty sure it was like close. <laughs> um, yeah, they were like, Do you want Luna? And I was like, No, I don't. I want something different. No, like, Selena oh, Gomez. Celine, hello. Yeah. Oh, I love Gomez. is also Greek, but it's the Ooh. Latinized form. For, what does it mean? Uh, Acacius. Mm-hmm. It can either mean uh, thorn bush, not evil, or love stick. <laughs> not evil. <laughs> I'm totally not this, evil. <laughs> I was gonna say it sounds like a plant, just because it sounds like a, like a the like an acacia tree. Yeah, yeah it's supposed to be like acacia the th- in a thorn bush, uh, not evil or literally love stick. <laughs> I was I like, that. okay, that was... that really honestly yeah. is perfect for a bard. You have a <laughs> extra character, unassigned character on the uh, on the page. Do you want me to get yeah. rid of that? Uh, in D and D Beyond, in, I'll 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 trash it. One sec. Okay. In shattered. Yep. Oh, I do too. I'm we so can either deactivate I... it if you're saving it for something, or we can oh, remove I'm it. I'm not. Just go and delete it. Yeah. Okay. I'm I was just checking what another right race was. Right. I'm very excited because I'm playing on my. I actually plugged my laptop into my monitor this week, and I'm so excited because I'm playing mm. on a nice big screen and I can see mm. everything. Oh yeah. Instead of having to switch between five plus, I now have two screens, so I don't have to switch between D and D Beyond, uh, Roll Twenty, and Discord. Going, who the fuck is talking? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I have an ultra wide, which does almost as much as two screens, which is nice. Yeah. Um, how are people coming with the mechanics of their character creation? I'm uh, done. I'm done. done. Mostly well, done. I might want to switch one ability, but other than that, okay. It's oh, it's always him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm going to use persuasion more than I'm going to use investigation. Instead. Is anybody good at investigating things? Someone has no. a high intelligence, right? <laughs> I hope so. There's no. some mages or I something. I wish to see in it. And we don't have a. Do we have a wizard or do we have? A... We have a couple near wizards, but that's it. Oh. No wizards. We have no intelligence based characters, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe I should leave it. <laughs> I mean, plus <laughs> one's not that great anyway. But that's I my minus three. stat. I mean, soon enough, I'll have the jack of all trades. But yes, you'll be good at anything. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Let's switch it to. So we're talking about a ten intelligence and a ten wisdom. So <laughs> I have eight intelligence. I've got eight. Okay. <laughs> I have a four. I have a fourteen intel. Am I the smart one? Oh, thank. Oh, yeah. thank. Oh no. Oh no. I have a manually resetting expectations. Okay. And a sixteen to wisdom. <laughs> I don't I don't have investigation, but I do have perception. I've got a nice little plus five to perception. Someone should take investigation. You, yeah. Someone with intelligence should take that. I'm 
Okay, but I can't take it. How about just non-negative intelligence? Yeah, <laughs> someone non-negative should take that. Because I have the highest intelligence, I probably... but I also literally can't take it. <laughs> I probably could. But it would only be the plus two. It would be... I already have a plus two investigation. Yeah, at that point. But I guess well but I guess if you if you pick it for a proficiency as your proficiency bonus goes up, so would it. But mine is gonna always remain to plus two. True. True. I can mess around with that. I'm really glad that I didn't dump intelligence and I was really close to doing that. <laughs> How do you change your icons in uh roll twenty? You have to change um, your you'd... profile picture. I can I can upload the, the picture if uh, if nobody sure. else does, and then I drop it on the screen, and then I click edit on the profile and make it go. That sounds simple. Make it go. Yeah. Make it happen. Make it go was a little vague, but I press buttons. Uh, <laughs> as long as uh, you send it to me, I can I can have it have it. It's done. in in Discord. Uh, yeah, he's the brutal, scarred-looking I guy. Oh, <laughs> I, I think didn't I already do that? Uh, oh. it's not showing up in RD twenty. I still got the swashbuckler. Mine's in mind. there. Oh, really? Try and, see that one either. You still the pirate it. cat? Oh, maybe you it is the pirate cat. Oh. Okay, Mine is there, there, but that's just because I changed my profile picture for it to be it. Yeah, don't don't worry about down at the bottom. That's uh, that's something else. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, that one you do. Um, I have to change my profile for. <clears throat> yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, okay. I've actually yes. got those I... images turned off. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. So do I. Yeah. I should do that because they do take up a lot. Of they room. take up a lot of room, especially with five they players. They do. It's like, oh How my do you god. Turn that... <laughs> uh, go to audio and video. Uh, in the the oh, settings, okay. and then Got um, it. for uh, where is it? Video I, display. Did I lie? Yeah, video Names display. Only. Player Got video. It. Yeah, video. Guy. Okay. Yes. There Names we go. Only. Nice. Why did I like my my eyes brushed over video display like six times and just didn't read it? Oh. Um... Yeah, uh, Jules, you just rolled 2d6 and got a 9. Oh, yeah, it didn't show up on my screen, but I was just seeing how to do that. Where do I yeah, if you... Oh, under yeah, chat. Uh... Yeah, I see it. Yep. So, uh, the one thing that uh, I want to end the night off with, and to give everybody a chance to experiment with their character a little bit and um, see if they need to want to make any adjustments is you guys are all sitting around the bar talking about the adventures that your patrons made, your your friends, your family, um, the, the people, the old retired adventurers. And you, you come up against uh, one tale in particular of them in a faraway desert land fighting a bronze dragon. And you imagine yourselves in their shoes. <laughs> so I'd like you guys to drop yourselves anywhere in the bottom eight squares of this map. How do you drop your token in the so There should be one. Uh, just drag your character from the from the characters oh, uh, list right onto yeah. the map. There you go. Oh, it's not let me. Oh, maybe it did. Bottom eight by the squares. Name. Uh, bottom eight squares, like down here. So, like anywhere from there to seven squares above that. Feel like I'm doing something wrong here. I'm dragging my guy from character. Oh god! Sorry. Yeah, grab it by the text, not by the. <laughs> we hide behind pillars here. Yes, <laughs> grab it by the text. Is the is the yeah. grab him by go. the there text? <laughs> grab him right by the text. Yep. And one more. Two, Carl. three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't forget grab to grab it by the text. <laughs> I am attempting to grab it by the text and getting nowhere. I, I, I'm also going to give you one free piece of advice. Breath weapon. 
Because you guys are bunched up. <laughs> oh, this well, is. I mean, call. if you're hiding behind a pillar, I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, eight away from the dragon, right? All right. No, so... it's the bottom eight squares of the map. Oh, again, grabbing by text from the icon at the bottom, right? Yep. Let me yeah. uh, just double check yours to make sure that it's all set up right. And I get nothing. Carl R. Carl R. like the the journal thing I'll drop up it near on. the um yeah. So can you move it now that it's on the map? What's this? Um, uh, looks like bricks. There is that a brick wall? Nope. Yes, there are there are low walls. Uh, you can take cover behind them. No uh, one beats so chest high wall. On. <laughs> oh come on! Don't do this to me. Where's the little oh, grabby thing? When you I, like to move. I think the highest you can right. go for eight squares is the those two pillars. That's right. right. Behind oh, the pillars. Not that difficult. You guys see that? Yep. So you, can you still move. not move your guy, Carol? Select and move, and all I can do is draw squares. Here we go. Okay, you might be in the wrong mode. Um, in the, the very top button on the left panel... You make yep. sure that select move is is picked in the in the yes. in the arrow square, and nothing. <laughs> Am I in the wrong layer? Could be. You should be on the objects and tokens layer. All right. Let's see here. I don't remember how I do that. Second the little square. There's like the second icon in the list should be a square, a cube, to be on the objects and tokens layer. <clears throat> Get, all right, so it goes from the select move arrow. The next thing down is a paintbrush. Paintbrush, you don't see, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, then you're on the right layer then, because you're a player. Yeah. You don't see the yeah. one that I do. Um... Really glad I checked. I didn't have all of my spells selected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really glad I checked yeah, that so... before we start. So, you, you, yeah, you, oh, if you click on the arrow at the very top, in. you should be done. That should be it. I'm um, going to exit and come back in, because I can't do squat. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay, now I have spells. <laughs> now I have all my spells. That's good. Launch That's game. Hey. Oh, for fuck's sake. So no worky. All right, so there's got to be a, obviously a operator error here somewhere. There we go. Pick down. Could the controls be set up wrong? All right. Carl R. Carl R. Things along the top. Auto play no. Lock. Turn up no. the way to yeah, duplicate that guy. Ah, um, that's how you do that. Okay, so you do it from the see. left side. So that now there's also somebody on there called Copy of Carl. Try that one. Drag that one on. Mm. I am Copy of Carl. Uh. And where is Copy of Carl? It should be in the character list on. Um, the page with oh. characters on it. So you should basically see uh, one of the pages. It looks like a newspaper. Go away, Lindsay. I hear you coming. <laughs> Be gone. <laughs> so like copy worked. Copy, the copy worked. Yeah. Copy in the back. Oh, and can cackle. can you now uh, drop a regular cool. Carl on? What now? Can you try regular Carl again? Nope, no dice. Okay. Yeah, no, we're getting rid of that regular Carl. Delete. 
I still see him. Oh, no, he's gone. Okay, so you are now a copy of Carl until you rename yourself. <laughs> uh, yes, so bottom eight squares, Carl. And what you guys, what uh, Celine and Acacia are standing behind is a stairway. Provides mm -hmm. no cover. Okay. No cover. Provides no cover. No, no yep. Stairway. I just. Um. What is the? Uh, um, what about this rock I'm hiding behind? The rule for ah. diagonals. Move is up it... one square. Ah. Uh, I guess no. Ah. Can't really do that. Um, are we using the usual? Ah. Every second one is two. No. Um. You just diagonals count as one. <laughs> totally fine. Okay. Nice. How do I? There. I just drew on the map by accident. How do I get rid of it? If you those things should be selectable. Um, if you are I in, I just drew some bullshit on here, and I didn't mean to. I hit yeah, if you button. zoom in, you can read. I'll, I'll just do it. But if you zoom in a bit, you can actually see those things and select them I and just, delete them. I just wanted a Which ruler to see. I have done for now. People were okay. Let us all roll initiative. On your sheet, click on the initiative button. Oh, I don't have a good initiative. Those don't seem to be coming in. I see them. I hear oh, initiative. I, I don't see them on the turn order, though. I forgot to select my turn. Oh, yes. You have to select your icon and yeah, then roll. That was my oh, okay. problem. And we're rolling an RD20, right? You got it set for time. <laughs> Should we reroll? Wow, then? I rolled a worse one than my first one, so. Yeah, I, th can I think I, we, we can have I to kind it of. To my, How do I can select? I change it? No, we're, we're going to do the only correct rolls count rather okay. than kind of deciding at the at the moment by moment whether. And that'll break that'll oh, break in your benefit thing. half the time and and your your, token was your, selected. You know. Do you your the other half. half the time. How do I yeah, select my token? Just click just on it on the click map. Click on it. I did that. And you get and the it's... three dots above and the two yeah. dots below. And then I click on the D&D &D Beyond. And then you go into RD20. Do you want us, do you want no, us you to fill out D &D those, those like, huh? uh, health bars and stuff on oh. our character? No rush um, on that. I think we. W I will probably 20. end up doing that, but uh, don't worry about it today. All right. I'll yeah. just put my health on. Imaginary I'll, I'll put my health strength. Because I already did it. Yes, the the introductory scenario is called Imagine Dragon. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no. um, they, people talk shit, but they got some bangers. They do. Heck yeah. Did that add my um, plus three to it? I need to get my middle daughter involved. That's your favorite band. Okay. Mm -hmm. Four, no, so. it's not. Hey. Favorite band? Hey, it didn't add my... No, it's band. not. What it is. Jules, you're in it. the first it. one. It does. Oh, the first one didn't three. Count. Yeah, so the second one did. Is the one that she got Yeah, which is a seven plus three. three. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I if, didn't you, if you think dice that it... roll, if you mouse over the number, you can see how it actually calculated it. I didn't think that anyone's favorite. What do these band? boxes mean again? <laughs> the red, one the box green, not. The, or sorry, the circles, the red, the it? green, and the blue. Oh, uh, don't worry about them today. Okay. Oh, I filled in my green one for health just because I I got a little yeah, reminder. Yeah. Now, Go is ahead. the map accurate in that it has you know, like walls and pillars to hide behind and crap like that? Yeah, so the, the, the walls are half height. Costs you an extra five feet to cross them. You can hide behind them if you basically go prone. Otherwise, they're half cover. So a plus five to AC? Yes. Plus two. This Okay. This man is going Plus to use a weapon, and I am going to die on the spot. <laughs> but I Fortunately, wanted... Hep is first. Fortunately, mm -hmm. I am first. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, do, are we just going to go from here? Go ahead. All right. Uh, you said uh, diagonal still just count as one square? Yep. Uh, okay, so 5, 10... 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Any action? I will. Uh, what can I do? Hold on one sec. Most of my stuff is swing, swing. Um, you could ready. I will ready. Yeah. 
I'll have my longsword and my warhammer set. So it's basically, if it gets within range of you, you're going to do that? You got it. Okay. Next up, we have Celine. No, sorry, Acacius. Acacius. I was like, no, it isn't. I'm not ready. Um, Acacius is going to do a bardic inspiration on Hep. And then um, Eldritch Blast the, <laughs> the dragon. Awesome. Right. Attempt to at the very least. So no time for conversation with the dragon, huh? Uh, oh, you're you are reenacting uh you're reenacting a battle. This goes <laughs> oh. straight, to, one. straight to initiative. <laughs> gotcha. It's a nat one. We're not doing that. Okay. So it's just the <laughs> Bardic inspiration then. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Now it's the dragon. Well, you can only go up from here. That right? is absolutely true. Or she can plateau can, and can stay we assume at one. that I was hiding? Uh yeah. sure. Should I make a stealth check then? Go for it. Okay. Okay. Um yeah. What's the dragon gonna do about it? <laughs> Dragon's gonna one shot kill me because I have very few hit points. <laughs> it's probably gonna one shot kill all of us, but that's okay. <laughs> that's true. You're you're not special. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's just gonna imagine it and kill you. I have a zero in Constitution. <laughs> I okay. did decide not to do a negative one. Yeah. It is going to breathe lightning in a 40-foot line that goes through Hep and Carl. Ooh. Oh my God. Damn it, Beavis, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> 12 lightning damage. 12. The damage is 12. So yeah. make your DC 12 dexterity saving throws. <laughs> Right. He's the 12 dex saving throws. So just make a dex roll. Yep. You Ooh. succeed and take six oh, points. Holy crap. You also Ooh. succeed and take six points. Nice. You lived. I what lived. A good start. Yay. Next up. Now it's me. Mm hmm. Okay. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, then 30 diagonal. Um, and then I'm pretty sure, one sec, let me just double check uh, that I measured it right. 25 feet, 30 feet, 50 feet, yeah. Okay, I'm going to cast Bless uh, on... Hashtag Bless. <laughs> I'm going to cast Bless on um, Acacius. Who are the fuck this guy is? I don't remember his name. And Hep. I, I'll turn on the name here just in a second. It just it just is Hannon. There we go. He's the only he's the only one that didn't change his name in here. So I that was me. I, I actually went through and added all the names. So Hannon. Yeah. yeah. I I you know I changed my name on that character three times and it never showed up. So. <laughs> well, you're blessed now. Yeah. yeah I'm blessed. Three, I'm blessed three creatures. Three, yeah. So, three creatures. So it's half. Uh, Hannon and Acacius. Okay. Hep, Hannon, and Acacius, remember that you are blessed. We'll you do. now gain a D4. Indeed. Um, to attack rolls or saving throws. And Hep D4 also D4 has the bardic inspiration. Yes. Right. Hep is set up. All right. Jules, set. you're up. So I, um, Assume that if I am uh, hidden and he didn't notice me, that uh, that would give me an advantage. On my I mean, be, yeah, if you're going to use your sprint thing. Yeah. Uh, how close? How so I'm going to sprint up there. 70? It would be 60. 60? Okay. Then, and yeah, then... do, your, do your worst. That, that it will be a sneak attack. Actually, we prefer you did your best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get him on an advantage. How do I make this thing do advantage? So it should automatically roll with advantage. If it doesn't, then we'll adjust that in the settings. Yeah, I think it won't. It doesn't look like it has been, does yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. You can also just roll just again. Roll it anyway, it's a, yeah. it's a hit, so I'm going to take that. 
Sounds good. We'll roll again to see if you get a 20. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, see if you get a crit. It's in the way. I can't see it now. <laughs> there we go. You can also just roll the attack yeah, without just rolling, rolling the Yeah, it wasn't damage. a 20. Yeah, so, so damage would be yeah. 15 with the sneak attack. Sweet. That's a good 15 hit. I'm just going to, you know what I'm going to do I'm, for this game? Uh, this is new for me, but I heard this as a way to speed up the game. I'm just going to tell you what creature's armor classes are. This guy has an armor class of 16. So right. when you guys roll, you will know if you hit or not. Um, mm -hmm. And Wait. if you ever want to know a creature's armor class, just ask me because it makes the game go faster. Totally. And when cool. combat goes faster, everyone wins. Everyone wins. Yay, yep. winning. Especially, especially when it's 3 o'clock in the yeah. morning. Yes, right? mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> All right. Cool. Hannon, you're up. All right. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Hmm. All right. So uh, he's going to use one of his, his uh, celestial uh, his healing lights. Excuse me. And I just got to find the super button to click on it. <laughs> Here it is. Ping. Roll. Six points. Yeah, baby. He's back to full. Great. That was his bonus action. And I just rapiered that dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and. Too soon, dude. <laughs> Next move is one, two, three, four, five, six. He goes, he bravely moves over here to the rear guard and then hits him with an Eldritch Blast. Brave, brave, brave Sir Robin. Yep. <laughs> bravely oh, right away. Blast. away. Oh, Not with that roll. <laughs> Danger reared, nope. ugly head. It was a nice bot while it lasted. Us and our Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Goes wide. Turned Hep. away. All right. I'm going to go. Back up. To One, two, Hep. three, four. Get him. I'm going to start swinging. So, anyway, I started blasting. So, I started blasting. Yeah, I can't blast. So, I'm going to start So, swinging. anyway, I started stabbing. So I started stabbing. <laughs> First, I started mm -hmm. stabbing. What weapon do you use? I'm using, well, I'm using a longsword, which missed. But then, the other hand, I swing around my warhammer. Two weapons. Which missed. Also oh. missed. Two chances oh. to miss that dragon. Oh. Double missed chance. <laughs> Acacius. So much miss. <laughs> oh, hey, wait a second. Oh. I can use uh -huh. Bardic Inspiration. You also, or, were you Are adding you it real quick? Before you do that, have, were you rolling an extra d4 with both of those? No, I wasn't. So and you should do that say, before yeah. you do that first. Yeah. Hold on. How do we? Uh, how do we roll it? Just roll d4. Just just, just just type just roll, um, slash two d4. Oh, hold on. Slash r one d4. Chat. Or you slash can, r uh, space one d4. You can hover over the dice on the left hand side. Oh, the d20. Oh, that oh, too. Yeah. And, uh, just right. I forgot it. about that. You can also nice. just click so on the first one. Hit, uh, still misses. Sorry, no, that's me. That was, oh, that was me. You. Okay. Uh, because you can also just oh. click um, on the bless spell that's just a little higher up. The, there's D4. You oh. can just straight up click on that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Scroll up to bless. Uh, bless. Oop. First one. So 14. That's at 14. Do it. And that the second one definitely hits. 17. All right. So on the first one, you could use the. Uh, Bardic. The Bardic, Bardic as well. Sure, why not? Just need two more. Uh, where's Bardic? What is it, a D6 or a Bardic. D4? D4 at this level. Okay. Okay, hold on one sec. So yeah, over so on the left, you can uh, hover over that die. Over on the left. Oh, that die there. Okay, hold on one sec. Left, D4. Four. Four successes, Four. two hits. Two and roll hits. that damage. Right. Let's roll, roll some that out. And then we get this one here. 
and we get this one here. Okay, and there are not two handed, obviously. Yes, so that's mm -hmm. two hits totaling 14 damage. That's very good. Boom. Ah. Uh. The dragon. I like that we we're immediately like, okay, guys, remember you have bless, and then immediately forgot. Immediately <laughs> forgot. Yeah. Within like, seconds. No hesitation. <laughs> forgot. Did somebody Six, say right. shiny object? Like it was straight up less than a minute. <laughs> now let's see if breath weapon recharges. No. It does not. I believe it oh, skipped Acacia's this turn. Oh yeah, I might have actually. Yes, okay, you okay, did. Go ahead. Uh... <laughs> we get distracted okay. with there math. We go. That's okay. Um, Aclacius was just kind of planning on moving a little bit. Oh my gosh, I can't move. <laughs> Select move. There we go. These walls are not tall enough to be covered, correct? You can take cover behind them. They're half cover and uh, by default, and you can take cover behind them by going prone. <laughs> okay. So, you just plan throwing to move to the ground. Yeet here. And Eldritch mm -hmm. Blast, essentially. Okay. Trying to get closer to use hair with Eldritch <laughs> Blast. Blast if away. It's even needed at this point. If it's even Heroism needed at that is point. Awesome. Hit. Get em. Hey! Finally! Damage him. Okay. Eldritch Blast does work. <laughs> Eldritch Blast does work. Nine. Nine. Holy crap. Nice. He's going down. Yeah, it does. Mm. And the dragon goes, not too flying, not such a fan of Hep's sword play and finding himself this close. He's going to bite at you. Oh. Ed crits. Oh my I think you died. I'm not actually going against you, but yes. So you have you have taken wounds and you are down. Oh. Don't worry, and baby, see, unless I got you can you. take another 17 points of damage, that is. Oh, smokes. I got you. Mm -hmm. Zoe. Yeah, one sec. I just have to measure the distance that I am currently at. Oh, perfect. You're still in range. Um, I would have my guy cry out if you knew what the sound of a head inside of a bronze dragon's mouth sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have to move for any of this. Okay, so I'm going to cast, uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Hep. Cool. So you just get four points of healing. But four points, which is from zero enough to, to four, get you, so. Yeah, yep. enough to get you up. Um, and then I'm going to cast a cantrip, and I'm going to cast... Um, I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on the dragon, obviously. So he needs to beat um, a wisdom... Uh, he needs to make a wisdom check of 13. Saving it, throw. Click on the click on the spell so that it, it pops up uh, in the chat there. You should be able to click it there. Perfect. Yeah. Or, uh, of course, the save doesn't seem to have popped up, but that's okay. It's a um, wisdom save of save 13. Save or take damage. 1d12. Well, a 2 is not going to succeed at that save. No, it will not. So he's going to take, take 1d12 because he has already has missing hit points. For okay. whom one the bell tolls. Nice. He'll take 9. Oh. Hey, you rolled my, you rolled my damage. Sorry. <laughs> Show my thunder. Yeah, you you roll it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nine is good. Nine is solid. I don't want to do that. Nine is, Nine is solid. solid. You can see that he's uh he's uh, in in great pain already. Jules, what's up? And now I have advantage off. again because he's got someone up because he's conscious now, right? So yep. yeah, so we're not doing flanking, but you you probably have you an ability. You do get sneak attack. He yes. gets you sneak do attack. get sneak attack if um an ally is within five. Oh yeah, right. It just says right. specifically you can sneak yep. attack. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um. I know my sneak attack rules. I love a rogue. Yeah. Me too. I yeah. I want to do some kind of thing to give me advantage, but I can't think of anything. So I will uh, not move, so my ability recharges. Okay. And. Rapier him again. 
smack him. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> uh, that's gonna uh, miss. Eight's gonna miss. Yep. Rush and then uh, I'm gonna bonus action hide. No, I can I hide right next in this like. This I think you have, you have to have something to hide behind, either darkness well, or like an object. In there. So, but I am like right by this fountain. Could I hide in the square? Go I'm in, in the water. Off the edge. <laughs> if you're not gonna move, not oh. in the square you're in. No, I'd have yeah, to move. So then I would. You'd have well, to move. Who cares? I don't need thing. that ability. I'll move off. Oh, then you'll get an opportunity attack. That's right. Uh, I'll disengage with my bonus action. And oh, then I can't hide. That's kind of the yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll just stay there. Tank it. <laughs> yeah, As you know, I will disengage I'm and I'm going to go pretty back confident. 30, there's three, uh, listen, 30, 50, there's 20, three people 30. who are going to go before that dragon. He's going to fucking die. Yeah, exactly. I'll just I would not I worry right. too much. I bonus action disengage. I'm not hiding. Sounds good. Hannah, you're I'm up. Power. Okay, so I'm rolling my d4 for blast. That's plus four. And then I'm hitting him with Guiding Bolt. Nice. End it right there. Hopefully. Two plus four, 17 hits. There you go. Good, good timing for that bless. 17 hits. That's 17 radiant damage. 17 radiant damage. That's enough. Boom. <laughs> Your 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 retelling of the tale of the defeat of the bronze dragon uh, has gone very well. Uh, of course, none of you are actually injured in the retelling. Um, We're all looking deep into our cups, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, we've all got uh, our miniatures on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Why does mine always get his head bit off? Aha! <laughs> in Arabia, the dragon. Yep. Well, Delmer, I figured to be the one of us who's capable of advanced thought. That is how you say it, right? Rapier? Rapiered. Rapier. Rapiered. I rapiered. <laughs> you, uh... So or everybody, just rape? Th thanks for coming out and doing a live character creation uh, <laughs> and uh, testing out your characters. If there are any adjustments to your characters you want to be made after you, after this combat, uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. That's not a problem. Um... And yeah, just let me know. Let me know if anything comes on. Everyone gets fifty experience points for mm. for character creation and and going through a little mock combat. Um, and yeah, that, that's game for tonight. And next time we'll start up and we'll start with the the proper campaign. Awesome! awesome. All right. All right. Yay. See you next week, everybody. Um, thank you Bye. for everybody for being in the stream and we'll uh i'll sort it out a little bit more um next time but i got your images in there now so i just gotta um wazubi do you want yours to be the talking the the talking on and off one or do you want your actual character image in there my actual character image it's okay i'll do that maybe i'll make a talky version of each of those I have time. there you go let's do a south park mouth put a south park mark <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly trenton and philip <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Wah, Just wah, cut wah. their heads in half. <laughs> we're doing we're doing experience based leveling up. Yeah, we are doing experience based leveling up. And, and do, perfect. Do you want us way to that, it? The way that goes is that uh, basically for most things, experience is all going to be shared. But people who aren't here get half. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Um, and, I just wanted and, to make sure because I had it marked as. Right. Uh, so I had to change it. Good, good idea. Um, the other thing is, uh, because we have five players, which is great, because I can still run with four. So if one person isn't going to show up, it's game on. Okay. And uh, and we'll we'll fill it up. Unless the one person is me, in which case, no. <laughs> oh, be like that. We could still yeah. do it. It's oh, just be all <laughs> RP. <laughs> um, I do get special treatment in this. Just so you know, if there isn't uh, enough people for the actual Shattered game, we still will play a uh, one-shot. Uh, we'll either continue the other one-shot or we'll um, make a new one. So. All right. That'll still be a uh, game on, even if you don't, if we don't play this game. Sorry, one last thing, just because I've never actually had to use it in D&D uh, &D Beyond. Where do you put XP? I, was, I just figured that out. So if you Flash. go to your Manage Character, 
uh, like your like character yep. creation thing, and then go to class. There should be a little thing that says manage XP right underneath your character level. Awesome. Um, and then you just type in the value and add it. Add several I zeros have, to I, it. You won't notice. Under it. type XP value, I type 50, and then click out. on apply. Yeah. <laughs> I had to just figure that out because I was this was sitting here going, how do I do this? Sorry. So I'm under under class. Yeah, there's a manage XP. So right, right under character your name, level. There's a manage button, too. Yeah. Okay. So you're and on the character level um, and class Yeah. Screen. I'm on the character level, but I don't have manage on. Oh, mine. go to wait, wait. Go to is it okay? So go to your um like setup page on the yep. manage character. Like no, no. Go to um to home the home yep, button. That's where I am. And make sure that advancement type is XP and not milestone. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because that's what yeah. I just had to change. There we go. Yeah, okay. page one. Yeah, there and then go back to and then go back to class, and you can then it'll have the manage. XP there button. we go. Pop under oh, character yeah. level one. Five hundred thousand. Where does that put us? <laughs> <laughs> Instant level twenty. If anyone oh, hey. starts the next session at level twenty, I'm going to be very suspicious. <laughs> but only suspicious. Proof, so. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm gonna want to see your roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like something isn't right here. <laughs> something fishy's going on. <laughs> and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we got to kill a dragon. That was right. Yeah, first That's session. That's a good <laughs> session. Good. Zero dragon. dragon. Kill. But yeah. That's true. Hey, any dragon counts. <laughs> exactly. All right. Really Thanks for uh, dragging this before, out. So this is exciting. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be. Good. I used bless. So this is like a real right? support cleric character. It's so exciting. And luckily, <laughs> thanks to you guys, bless and bark inspiration. Yeah, just yeah. what I needed. Yeah, yeah just killer enough. combo. <laughs> killer combo. Absolutely That's killer good. combo. Bardic inspiration is, is a power that is often forgotten as well. So yeah. it's, it's so nice awesome. to nice to and roll it out right away. Clearly. So is bless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. And then guiding remember, board. you get an extra yep. D4. I, I won't remember. Just <laughs> remind me. <laughs> remind me when I miss and I'm solving in my cups. Yeah, and bards can my do that. Head like, bitten off. How, how many of those do you get? All the bardic inspiration. Always. Is you just it? keep um, doing I it? it? Three times. It's three, oh, three times. times. Okay. Was it only three? For now, uh, yes. Yeah. I believe. That's good for yeah. the Yeah, that goes up. But yeah, and then each one That's gets awesome. more powerful as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um also Carl, same hat. I was gonna cast guiding bolt as well, and then um I didn't <laughs> because uh uh hep went down and I was like, okay, I'm gonna use healing oh. word and uh if if you had <laughs> gone with the guiding bolt, I would have gone with the uh the healing light. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I figured I could I could do healing word and a <laughs> Uh, attack cantrip. So I was like, I balanced that. Yeah, out. it's gonna be nice to play. I'm trying theaters. to get better at. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at playing characters that aren't just I hit it hard, because that's my yeah. that's my strategy for everything. Right? <laughs> all problems are me. all problems are nails if your hammer is big enough. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, are Nailed we doing? Uh, uh, are we using inspiration like the regular inspiration as well? And if so, are we just doing one slot of that? Or yeah, uh, th to be honest, like I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the way it's currently written. I think maybe the way that um, the way that they're proposing for the next one is probably better, what which is you one? wake up with inspiration after a long rest. Oh yeah, yeah, I do like that as yeah. well. So, Inspiration think... was just something that like the DM could just give you if you did something they liked. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I don't I'm know not how it works. Yeah, it basically it, it came to people who asked for it more than anything. Yeah, like oh, do I get an inspiration for that? And the answer was ah, sure, <laughs> right? And it it it, it didn't really. Um, I didn't find it particularly balanced in that way because certain people asked for it after doing cool things and certain people wouldn't and then it'd get forgotten. And yeah. so I liked everyone just wakes up with it. 
and then you could still give it back if they used it and you and they still did something cool, but you don't have to. Yep. Yep. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um. I guess we'll uh, see everyone next week. Yay. Mm -hmm. See you then. Take care, everybody. everybody. And and obviously, like, if you can't make it to a session, really, it's no big deal. But do try to give me as much notice as possible. Yeah, that's all. Don't worry. I don't usually have plans at 1230 (laughs) a.m. Yeah, fair enough. (laughs) Catch you later, everybody. See ya. See ya. Bye.